Oh, hey there. What's happening? So, at last, uh, I'm live again. It's Friday night for me, maybe coming up to early Saturday morning. And I thought I would log in and play some games. I mean, I was going to play some games anyway. Uh, as you know, I've been playing a little bit of World of Warcraft. And uh, for some reason, uh, this season, I decided that I wanted to do some Mythic Plus. Each season, I've done a little bit of Mythic Plus. And uh, I didn't really think I was going to get too much into it. But I seem to be getting more and more into it. I mean, it's just casual. The thing about Mythic Plus is dungeons are short. You know, they're five, five man dungeons. They're relatively short. They can take a long time, but you know, they kind of Mythic Plus has time limits, you know, so everybody's trying to like time the keys. And so I found that those time increments are good amounts of time for me to go into the game. You know, when it comes to raiding, you know, starting the raid, scheduling the raid, I found it really hard to schedule those kinds of things, you know, like with work and family and business and everything. But the Mythic Plus just kind of seems to work uh, a little bit. So <clears throat> each season I've been doing like a little bit more and more and more. I don't know what happened this season. I think this season, just the way Blizzard is calibrated and stuff, like I just went straight to 3K. Uh, and it wasn't like straight to 3K. It was more like straight to like 2,500 or something. And then I hit 3K for the first time ever. Uh, so I'm a noob, you know, because I'm like, oh, I hit 3K for the first time. But on the other hand, it's not like you just get 3K for playing. I had to go in there and deal with all the assholes that were also, you know, trying to grind to 3K halfway through the season. And if you do Mythic Pluses, you may be aware that grinding later in the season, you get a lot more assholes. Uh, so that's what I've been dealing with. So uh, I, 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 if I pat myself on the back, it'll be just for dealing with that. Uh, not like I'm good at the game or anything like that. But I do try. You guys, you know, I'm going to try. You can see how hard I try uh, when I play tonight. Like I try super hard because I'm bad at video games. Uh, but also I have a lot of fun. And so, um, and also I think something unique about what I do in World of Warcraft, and we can check it out. Let me see if my, I don't even know if my scenes are set up, but let's get them set up. Just, uh, ranting about all the things. Oh, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't set up Symetheus yet. Let me see if I can set up Symetheus. All right. So game capture is good. I got a new monitor. Um, took me long enough to uh finally upgrade my monitor because i was doing video editing and everything on just like a normal monitor well i i mean it's i've always usually had gaming monitors but um i got an alienware uh finally uh which is pretty cool and um i'm pretty happy about that so finally i can see the pixels and the colors they're all very nice for my eyes uh and that also means that the stream is different because the monitor is different resolution and stuff that, you know, is uh, it should look better. I think it should be, you know, we're definitely uh, working with a hell of a lot more pixels now. So I think that uh, it could look better for you guys as well, hopefully. So let me know if you notice. I don't think you will. My stream is just going to look absolutely amazing like it always does. And I don't think anyone's going to notice anything's better or, or worse because it just already looks so good uh, but you can be the judge of that you can tell me yo synapse your stream looks like shit and i'll be like ha, you're funny that's a funny good stuff um so there's that what else is going on uh streaming like normal using the synapse tech streaming to the cloud testing my new internet every test i've done with my new internet seems to work so I can't promise uh, my internet will work, but it's never really not worked, at least during my stream test, so it should work fine. Um, using the Synapse tech, uh, those ingests have a really high uptime. Like, I never make any promises for my ISP, but I do make promises for the uptime of those ingest servers. They're just always up. We just have really, really good uh, ingest servers on the cloud. So if I seem like I'm 
very confident about that kind of stuff. Uh, that's because it's true. And uh, uh, I don't mind being bold as long as it's true. Because you know there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Arrogance is when you're confident without uh, uh, the chops to back it up. That's when you just kind of, you know, say, like, stuff and you're just arrogant. Confidence is just when you say the truth, you know? Like, if I wrote on a resume that I have work experience, am I being arrogant? No, it's because that's true. That's, it's part of, those are facts. Those are, you know, you're confident. You put in your resume in because that stuff is true. So when it comes to the cloud tech and stuff, that's just my resume, baby. You can check up on all that. No arrogance there. Now, when I say that I'm super good looking and super charming, is that arrogant? No, that's just kind of crazy. That's, that's just something else. Everyone... Yeah, but I mean, you you could also say that's true and I would believe you or you could say that's false and I'd also believe you could be like, yo, sign up to your ugly and fat. I'd be like, mm, if you say so, I'll be like, I won't argue with that. Or if you say, oh, you're super good looking, like, wow, how did you get yourself to look so good? And I'd be like, yeah, that's also I could I could buy that as well. OK, so um, I think I'm. What my plan is, is just to chill out and relax. You know, when I go live, there's no agenda. Uh, it's really just having fun, number one. And then I always like to kill two birds with one stone. I always like to always have a test going. I can't just have fun and not also be testing something. That's just because I'm a nerd. Uh, oh, look, I see Marcelo is here. I just looked. Uh, oh, Marcelo says I'm full of shit. Well, Marcelo knows me, so he can say... I'm full of shit and, and I won't argue with him. I'll be like, yeah, that's yeah. Cause he knows me. So he knows if I'm full of shit or not. And he knows, he knows when I'm right. And when I'm just being full of shit and I see Panda sweet is here too. Cyber is a cutest cyber. Thank you. Uh, Panda sweet. I hope you're doing well on this amazing, uh, Friday night. Uh, cause it is amazing. It really is. You know why? Because you're here and I'm here and you have internet. I also have internet. These are, these are good things. We're lucky. We should be thankful. We should be thankful and, uh, and feel great about that right now in this moment. And Marcella says, you're looking sharp. Oh, thank you. Uh, Marcel, Marcel also, he knows how to do high quality streaming. I must say. I, uh, I like the guys who know how to do high quality streaming uh, because, you know, they have a special eye. They can see. Some people can't see. That's okay. If you can't see, that's all right. If you're blind, you don't have any eyes. That can happen. I, that can happen. I don't hate. But for those who can appreciate the pixels, I have a special respect for that because I know it's a burden to be able to see all the pixels. Once you see them, you can't unsee them. So it's actually a burden. It's a curse, in fact. So I respect and feel sorry for those who have the good eye that can see the sharpness. So good for you. And uh, Panda Sweet, I don't know what you're doing, but I have a, um, I have a cup of water and then I have an empty cup. I might put some whiskey in there. You know, for, um, for uh what was it uh the other day i got um some uh jameson and uh to celebrate and um there's still some of that so who knows maybe we will celebrate this weekend with a little bit of uh whiskey and uh for saint patrick's day uh wait was saint patrick's day art last week right isn't that like last uh, Sunday? What the, what the hell is? It's already been a week. Oh, time goes by too fast. I can't believe. It. I I feel like I feel like St. Patrick's Day was like yesterday, like two days ago. But I think I might have traveled through time. Um, but you know what? This week was crazy though. This week was exhausting. There was a lot of stuff that happened this week. I think you know with the with the streaming and the business and all the things that happened this week. This week was a little bit of a whirlwind. Do you ever get weeks like that? 
I mean, every week is a whirlwind, let's face it, but this week seemed to be a little bit more than usual. Uh, it's been a minute since I had a beer. I may have to do a cheers with you. <laughs> right. That's right. Sometimes you, you, I mean, if, I mean, who else is going to drink them? Uh, somebody's going to drink them, right? Can't let the beers just, I mean, they don't drink themselves unless you're in my house. In my house, the beers just disappear. I don't, I don't know where they went. I think I just drank them all at some point, but, um, but it doesn't have to be beer. It could be, you know, you drink some uh, water. You know, or, you know, do what you like to do on Friday night. Uh, we're not like promoting, you know, booze or anything here. But if you are enjoying, which a lot of people do on the weekends, like to do something that they don't normally do during the week to relax, that's okay. You know, some people like to pull out their bong. You're not going to see me pulling out any bongs, but if you want to, that's okay. You have iced tea and you've been playing Final Fantasy. Everybody tells me to play Final Fantasy. Everybody is like, uh, when are you going to stop playing WoW and just uh, play, come play Final Fantasy. And then my response to that is usually, um, I, 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 I would, yeah, I, I can't. If I did, I would be playing it. That's the problem. If I played Final Fantasy, I'd be You'd see me in there, and I don't think I have time to level up and learn it and stuff. But I want to, is the thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. And all of my friends who play it, uh, I can tell that um, I would love it. So that's the good thing and the bad thing. The good thing is I would love it. The bad thing is I would love it. And so I got to watch out. I haven't really played anything other than WoW Mythics lately. That's like the only thing I've had time to play. And I've been playing it on the weekends or late at night, you know, after after working during the day, at some point I kind of get tired and I'm like, ah, like I need to uh, have a, a little like mental break. And when I play the competitive Mythic Plus, my mind kind of goes clear. It gets clear and I go into this kind of competitive gaming mode where I'm battling myself for how fast my reactions can be or how fast how I can plan. So it's not like I'm taking a break. It's like I play games to take a break. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not taking a break in the game. I'm still working in the game. Right? Like my brain just won't like shut off. I like have to be working on something at all times. If And if I'm not like working on work, I'm working on Mythic Plus rating. I think I've I think I've gone crazy. Uh, but um, the good news is I have to check out my Mythic Plus rating. Where do I? Where's the rating button? There it is. I've never gone that high before. I think a lot of people are going high uh, this season. I don't think it's just me. I think a lot of people because I asked a guy last season, I said, um, I was like, wow, how did you get to 3K like? You know, in my mind, everyone who was playing 3K plus was part of like a team, part of like a group or a guild that was, you know, like working on it together. I didn't know you could just pug 3K. And I asked some of the guys, I was like, how'd you get to 3K? And they were like, oh, just pug it. And I was like, what? I was like, well, what? You can pug, just pug 3K? Like, isn't that like, you know, isn't that suffering? Uh, well, yes, it's, I think it's a little bit suffering, but it's totally possible. And, uh, I wanted to kind of test that hypothesis to see if I could do it. And, uh, and then I did it and then now I can't stop. Now I'm still, still trying to push it even further again, but that's it. Like I don't have anything. And then, you know, uh, Marcelo is, uh, we're going to do a show too. Um, we're planning a show. We just haven't, uh, uh, actually done it yet but it's gonna be like i hope it's a still casual you know streaming but it's also gonna be we're gonna try to get some guest speakers and stuff and we want to talk about nerd stuff and talk about whatever people want to talk about but also talk about just like streaming and technology and probably probably old man stuff 
you know, like important stuff, uh, but also, you know, casual too. So if you guys want to be part of that, uh, let me know. It looks like Twitch is trying to tell me that ads are going to play, so it will happen. But I tried to slide all the bars so that there's the least amount of ads possible. Um, ads are always kill me, kill my soul. Um, so did I say everything I wanted to say for the intro before I go into the games? I think I just kind of like mentioned the monitor, computer, I'm super happy about this. There's one back there, look at this, before I do the games. I showed it last time. Oh, I wanted to start Symetheus bot. Let me see if I get Symetheus going, but that one is my old computer and I just completely wiped it, you know, installed the new windows on it. I installed the windows 10 because my son didn't want Windows 11. Neither do I. I don't want Windows 11. I only want the features of Windows 11. That's. I just want like HDR. There's like a few things I want. So I might eventually upgrade to Windows 11. But what I found is that most people upgrade to Windows 11 just because. Just because like the window popped up and Windows said it's time to upgrade. So they clicked yes. And I think most of the people that upgraded to Windows 10 didn't even ask what Windows 10 does or Windows 11, what Windows 11 does better than Windows 10. So when it asked me if I wanted to upgrade, I said no, because I didn't want any of that shit. It seemed to me that Windows 11 just like wanted you to play Xbox on Windows or something. And I was like, what is Windows 11 bringing? I didn't see anything I liked, so I passed on it. But now they seem to be focusing their HDR and like some of their color and gaming uh, optimizations for Windows 11 instead of Windows 10. So now I'm starting to realize, well, I do want those features, so I might actually uh, upgrade, but I don't think you have to. I think maybe until recently, Windows 11 was just a reskinned Windows 10, uh, it seemed like. But uh, you got to kind of uh, go with the punches, I think, because I also waited to upgrade like way back in the day when it was like Windows 7 and we were upgrading to like Windows 8 or Windows 10 or Windows uh, Vista or whatever it was going on back then. Um, I also waited, like I completely skipped Vista because everybody upgraded to it. And since I wait, like I usually do, uh, everybody was pissed off. And so I just went, I think I went from Windows 7, 8 straight to Windows 10 and uh, I, I, I tend to do the same thing, but Windows 11 has been out for like years already, I think. So I think I think Windows 10 might actually be getting old finally. I don't know. Anybody here at Windows 10 still? Or is it just me? I probably would not be surprised to learn if it was only me. If I was the only one. But even my son, he didn't want Windows 11. I was like, hey, do you want Windows 11? He's like, no, no. He's like, don't do it. And I was like, whoa, OK. All right, we don't have to. You could have whatever Windows you want. Fine. So that one's got Windows 10 on it, and that's an AMD. Has a bunch of cores and stuff. And uh, that thing is a super gaming, video editing, streaming machine. I'm giving it to my son and hoping he will do some editing. He does edit, uh, but it feels good to give that computer to him, but also it feels like I should, I feel like I should make it into a server or something because that would be one hell of a server. That thing would just like crush, crush anything uh, server wise. But um, I already have some, I have a bunch of shitty servers already. I don't need another server, but he needs to learn video editing. And of course he wants to game on it too. So I think the best decision is just to pass them down and then future rank one will get that one. And then uh, baby rank one will get his. So they both are going to have, uh, editing and gaming, uh, machines. So that's kind of, uh, kind of crazy. But that's how we're going to do it. And, uh, let me pop open Symetheus spot really quick, just in case we want to blow up the screen with a bunch of overlays. I don't think I can not launch Symetheus bot. I think I probably have to. 
if I can find it. Because now with my new computer, I have so many hard drives, I can't, now I can't find anything. Because I got all new NVMe drives and I don't know where anything is, so it takes me a while to go through and find everything and click on it. And once I find it, I'll just pop it open. Aha! I've got a lead here. Cybot. Cybot version 5. Let's go. Cymetheus said cheers in the chat. That means Cymetheus is online. Let me put the overlays online. I'm an old man. Who who develops who even develops chat bots in 2024? Only old old guys like me. Let's see. Uh, where is Unity? I'm like little man. I'm like, where's my folders? There it is. Let me click on it. There's that rascal. Oh, made with Unity. Yes. Now, how do I test it? Something's happening. Okay, it's doing that. That happened. So something is happening. Let me try clicking this one. It wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know. The timing of that was pretty suspicious. Okay, well, obviously that wasn't the right button. Let me try again. Uh, let me try this one. Wait, shoot, which one did I try? Crap. Neither of those really seem to work, so let's try. I'm just clicking on everything right now. I think I did this last time and then I gave up, but then later I figured it out. Uh, alert, oh, alert launcher. What does this do? <gasps> okay, that did something. I think this is the one. Yeah, now we found it, I think. So now it's just doing um, the thank yous. And in order to do that, I just have to type in Think you stop maybe? I forget which one. Uh, let me see here. I need to stream more. This is absurd. So crispy. Oh, yes. Yes. That 3D in Unity is delicious. Give me one sec to set up, set up a thing. And uh, what I'm going to do really quick is uh, it looks like some people want to run some mythics. So let's run mythics. But I want to open this up really quick. And um, I want to turn off the chat so the chat's not like going all on the all over the place. And it's another command, but this command is called like 
stop chat or something, I think. Let me see what it is. I can't remember. I need a little cheat sheet of all my commands. Uh, alerts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And... Oh, there it is. Chat off. Okay. There. Now, if my calculations are correct, it should be ready now. All right, cool. What, uh, what level keys you, you have? I think I might have, um, I have a 23 black rook hold, which 23s are not easy that it's not going to be like an easy super easy but black rook hold is an easier uh dungeon so uh a guy told me that i was like hey what's the easiest dungeon and um So he thought the easiest was uh, Black Rook Hold. And I think he's right. I went straight, after he told me that, I went straight into like a 24 Black Rook Hold and got it. Um, you guys want to do a, do, do some, I like to heal him. No, I am just uh, chilling. I'm live too. So I'm talking, chilling, whiskey, and healing. I haven't done any whiskey yet though. But it could happen. It could happen at any time. <laughs> nice. Bill and he's like, I'll I'll Friday night with you. Yes. This is correct. This is correct. Well, look at that. We almost have a full group. Just need one more. I'll be diddly darned. 
So we have uh, what keys? Let's see which ones we want here. I think the, uh, you know, I, right now after like pushing the keys and kind of like banging my head on the wall uh, with some of those uh, higher keys. It makes the lower keys seem much easier, I think, because the harder keys, it's like super intense, like, you know, like trying to like push yourself, uh, you know, to perform. And, um, you know, trying pretty hard, I guess. Um, and then the lower keys just seem like a huge relief because in the higher keys, it's like <clears throat> everything one shots you, like you got to kick everything. It's like the mechanics are amplified, right? So y y there's less room to fuck around. So then in the lower keys, there's a lot more room to fuck around. So it just kind of feels like you're fucking, you know, you're, you're chilling out. And I think also my gear, I'm sure, um, the item level 486, which is like, uh, which one first? Yeah. T O T T. Wait, which one is T O T throne of, throne of the tides. Wait, Oh, <gasps> throne of the tides. Okay. Throne of the tides, uh, 15. Can I make a group? I've gone, I I've have over 3000 rating and I've never made a mythic plus group myself. So this will be like the first time I make a group. Uh, okay. It looks like I can't make it. Looks like I can't make a group. <laughs> Looks like I can't make a group because I don't have an authenticator. Can you, can you post it? I was just, I was going to do it, but it won't let me. Let's see. Uh, Forsaken's got a 15. Can I pass you lead to grab last uh, person? I guess I need an authenticator. Otherwise, it will force me to post my 23 key. I have a 23 key, by the way. All right, so. Yeah, if you want to see what it looks like, let me see if I can uh, find it. If I go here, do you secure your account with the battle authenticator? See, like, I'm gonna screenshot this.
if I can post that right here. All right, we got it. And this is going to be wicked too because it's going to be Throne of the Tides. And Throne of the Tides is actually kind of hard to time, but we can time it. Like this one, we can time. It should be like no problem. Look how fast my travel form goes in the water. Hyperspeed. I don't know why I was so hyper today. For some reason earlier today I was uh I was like super hyper with everyone I was talking to. I don't know if I'm like Oh shoot. I should have went to help summon. Let's see, is there one, two, three, four? I think we're all in. We're in. I'm in. think place your bets are you allowed to bet on mythic plus that's like not illegal right i'm not joking i don't know i don't know wait just assume gambling is illegal i don't know what's legal in what state oh no felonies <laughs> felony die don't that's okay just come back Bursting is so stupid. <clears throat> what do you think? For the healer, when you see all those dots and everybody's health is just going kerchunk, kerchunk, kerchunk. It's like super scary. A little bit traumatized from this. From bursting. Save. And then the tough part too is they're gonna do uh what's it called? Crushing depths. Watch this now. Now I've gotta heal this. And I got it. Sometimes it doesn't always land. Crushing depths is a pretty big debuff to have to pop. So I have to send a lot of heals to pop it. And uh, it is no joke. Oh, shoot, I got Phew. That tree procced by itself, just by luck. So, looking at how much mana I used, I'm going to have to be a little bit better on mana uh, to get through this. I think I was just, like, a little bit uh, panic healing there just to warm up. But What's your step? One of the things I've been working on when I'm just chilling out and I'm just playing these mythics is healers will go in. So I'm just practicing not overhealing as much as I can. And in order to not overheal, you have to trust your heals. Or I can go DPS mode. I uh, expect some kitty DPS. So if I just What's spend a little step? bit of time, a little more time DPSing, a little less time healing, uh, the mana will work itself out really, really nicely. The problem with that, though, is if people are taking damage, I need to have hots up before I go in, in DPS. So it's a little bit of management there. But look at my mana. My mana went right back up because I just DPSed for a little while.
Take us in, Captain. What's weird is my green circle is not showing up when I click it. When I put it on the ground, it, it, nothing shows up there. That was happening to me the other night, too. Like, it's glitched. It'll work in some places, but a lot of places in here, it doesn't show up. Oh my god. Bursting. Hello. I think you may need to pull just a little bit faster. Not too fast because your pace is nice and careful, but in order for us to time it, we're going to have to go just a double pull faster, I think. Just a little bit. But this is nice. I like this pace. I like this pace. And we can... At this pace, we can finish, I think. Um, no problem. As long as we don't wipe on that last, uh, before the last boss. As long as we keep this pace and there's no... Otherwise, if we want to give ourselves a little extra time, uh, then uh, we don't want to hustle too much because there's bursting. So it's a fine balance. The tank really has to kind of... Look at mana and look at everything and just kind of decide uh, what a good pace is going to look like. Okay, is he going to stay out here? He's not going to pull it back in. That's alright, two should really make it work. I'm going to go in and pop a few things here. We're going to give a couple of little, little heals out here. Turn up the heat a little bit. Yeah, there's bursting rearing its head at us. Watch your step. Let's see if I can sneak up in here and get a couple of hots off. No dots. Hot Watch your dots. step. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> uh, I think I can run back. No, I'm gonna get a B res. I'm gonna get a B res. I'm gonna accept it. Good, good, good call. You could be res. We don't want to be res the trash, but you can. Watch your step. And I think it's better because we're. Here's the thing, if you're not planning on B-Resing anymore, you can B-Res in the trash. It's okay. And I got really unlucky there. I think I hit the... I was being dumb and I hit the whirlwind and landed in the green stuff. I hate when that happens. And that'll happen here. There's one other place in here where that happens. And good play. You, you can be good and still get hit by that. You have to really Watch your step. To not get hit by the wind. It's the guys that pull you in, like in that last hallway, where they like yank you in. And if they yank you in to a whirlwind, you are so dead. It's like, good. chasing me? What the hell is that? Oh, because Watch your step. I have a little bit of threat due to my heals. Okay, I'm gonna pop a bunch of stuff right here just to give us an easier time. I'm even gonna, I'm gonna put some stuff on the tank. I'm gonna, even, I'm gonna pop defensives. I'm just pre-popping it. Watch your stuff. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't handle that bursting right there. It's all right. That bursting does hurt. We shouldn't have pulled this group until we got the uh, that one guy down that's spitting all the goo at us. The Ravager. So I think it was just bad luck that he's still up. We should kill him first, though. We really should. Have no weapons. And that's this bully right here that's spitting green stuff at us. Let's see if I can do some DPS. The problem is, if I do DPS, though, I'm gonna die.
run back as fast as my cat can run back. But uh, the Ravager guy, he has to Watch your step. die before we pull that. But something happened. I think there might have been an accidental pull right there. Um, oh, I might be able to res you. No. You can res. Let me heal for a second, so, so he's good. Yeah, this guy definitely should not be up. Watch your step. Watch your step. Let's get him. There we go. Then I also have a haste rune. I'm going to apply that too. Just for a little extra pop. A little extra juice. Oh, there's that crushing depth. We popped it off really easily. Ooh. Uh, Demi Duels had a double mechanic right there, too. I would have been dead in a high beam. Tell you what, that bursting is no joke, even at this 15 key. That's crazy. I don't think you need that. I don't think you need that guy. You can skip. You can skip that. I think you can skip that. Usually everyone skips that. I don't know if there's something special we're doing to make up for AOE incoming. But everybody skips it. Oh, wait, can we skip that? Shit, I hope I, we, we didn't fuck that up. Oh, I, that was my fault, I fucked up. I think it's good. Yeah. Shockwave. 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 Get him. I wanted to cast more of it, but I'm healing it quite a bit, it seems so. AOE incoming. I would like to break off to do a little more DPS. Shockwave. Shockwave, no please. Shockwave. AOE incoming. Keep it parade. Keep it parade.
this guy. Do you ever feel that way when you come up to a boss? Watch your you're like, oh, this guy. Knocking back. Oh. Hang in there. You just gotta believe. Watch your step. Knocking back. Hmm. Hunt me so far that way. We gotta just try not to get punted into those mobs over standing over there. That's usually no point. Watch your step. Too chicken to go all the way. <laughs> I'm too chicken to do more than one at the same time because I feel like every time I try to do two, it's probably only one out of ten times have I actually made it. So I just kind of uh, go one at a time. It's funny. That bully. Get him. What a bully. Pulling in. Run. Crowd control. Crowd control. Don't underestimate those little guys. They're meanies. Crowd control. Whoa. Crowd control. Crowd control. This is pretty much when the dungeon starts. Crowd right? control. Oh, Crowd big control. Up. Big heels. Run. Oh no! Watch out for the ruins. Oh. See, Crowd control. That's what I was saying. Was whirlwind. Troll the shit out of us on this part. Crowd control. Crowd control. Run. Yeah. If you if you clinch your butt and say ah while well, you run, you run a little faster. I think is what I found scientifically. <clears throat> Science.
pulling in. Run. Run. Yeah, when you pull you in, just like... I mean, you know, <clears throat> tunnel vision is, is going to happen. I think I think everybody has tunnel vision at some point. But uh, what you really got to be looking Run. out for, I think, here is the, the whirlwinds. The, the, what do they call it? The, uh, you know, what do they call the little tornadoes? Um, those are what's going to troll you. Crowd control. Right and as long as you have your eye open for those and you can dodge them, then no problem. Crowd control. But if you're not looking for them and you run into one, that's it. Crowd that's, control. That's poopy time. Crowd control. Uh, so many stacks. Bursting. Hey, Canute is here. Hey, Canute. Doing Mythic Plus, man. I got my 3K. Got my 3K. Mythic Plus. This is not a 3K. This is not a high key, though. This is just a low key with the guilt. Low. Not low. A little bit low, but it is, uh, what's it called? Throne of the Tides. This one is Keep hard moving. to time anyway. But it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hope everything's going well. You're having a nice Friday, Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah, right on, man. Great. Good. I'm dual streaming on doing YouTube and Twitch method. I got a new monitor. 1440K. Got my new PC. And I got new fiber. Maybe maybe I already mentioned, but I haven't had fiber only like two weeks or something. So I'm uh, Keep moving. very happy. Anyone's happy when they get new internet. I don't think it matters what internet you get. If you get new internet, it's like, oh, let's stream on it. Let's go. But everything is new. So my pixels should be coming in. Phase two. Very nice. I'm too spoiled. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, 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 feel, I feel bad saying I got a bunch of new stuff, but... It wasn't, it was just because it just happened to be like my computer, my old one is behind me. My computer was old, so uh, I held on to it for a lot of years and it was time. Break and then the, the reason I got the monitor is because uh, uh, HDR, you know, we're doing some HDR. I've been talking with the YouTube infrastructure uh, guys that run the infrastructure for YouTube and they were talking about you know the future of streaming and i said okay and uh so i had to get this uh, special kind of monitor and then the fiber it was just luck they just tore up my whole neighborhood with fire and put fiber in i was like oh well there it is now it's here so put it in yeah and so it all kind of just happened all at once it's kind of crazy But the fiber, the low latency, the low ping, that is the key because the other one is, uh, if it's not, it has to be fiber fiber. Like everything is fiber, but fiber to the door, you gotta have the fiber all the way. And that's what we didn't have before. Um, and so they said, they said, okay, we have this new fiber. We just installed it in the whole neighborhood, the whole town. Got it. Because Comcast wanted to invest all of this money. So they put this new fiber, but it's the new fiber. So the next product they're going to offer is going to be the 10 gigabit plan. And so I'll be the first with the 10 gig. I don't know if I need 10 gig because I don't run servers out of my home. I run the servers on the cloud, so I don't really need 10 gig here. But of course, I'm probably going to get it anyway. Right? So we'll see. This part's actually really hard right here. It's going to stand in the green circle. This won't be too bad, because these guys... The bad part is when they apply the, the weekly uh, affixes. 
and that's the first two. When they die, they give us a dot that, that makes it hard for me to heal. For normal use, one gigabit is mostly enough. I agree, and the one gigabit upload is what I need. Even Linus Tech Tips made a video the other day. He said, he made a good point. I don't agree with him 100%, but he did make a good point. He said, your internet is too fast. He says, look at what you can actually do with your internet. Like, even with Steam, even Steam, you don't get a true, like, 10 gigabit, uh, you know, even with a fast computer, you might get a gigabit uh, and, and, and stuff. But most of the stuff we do does not require that much bandwidth. So he had a good point. It's like, your internet's probably too fast. Now, is your internet too fast for guys like me and you? I can take it up to one gigabit all the way with my servers and stuff. So I don't think it's too much for me all the time, but probably most of the time. I don't use the whole thing. What I really need is the low latency ping times. That's what I really need. Oh, getting close to dying. We can do it, guys. We're so close. Come on. We're so close. I talked to a, uh, a, a, a detective today uh, from the... Uh, he's a detective for a police department and also a member of the uh, Homeland Security. Homeland Security. And guess what we were talking about? Drone streaming. Because... The public service guys, they want to do drone streaming, so I got to talk to the guy who runs the police drones. That's some very expensive enterprise drones that they use. And so I was like a nerd talking about drones. I said, you got to stream it. I was like, you got to stream all those drones. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah, got to go live. Those three, you know what I like about the Enterprise drones? They have the night vision. Uh, they have the night vision and they have those big lenses. So, um, they're crazy. They're a little bit expensive, but if you think about it, they're not that expensive, but they are expensive. You gotta look at your budget if you want one of those. Um, but what's surprising is they're not like, you know, Thirty thousand dollars or something, you know. They're they're like I think you can get them between like three thousand and eight thousand dollars. Now that's a lot. That is expensive, but also you get a very sophisticated aircraft with night vision and optics and all of this crazy stuff. So I think it's kind of cool. I just feel like I thought all that technology would be like a lot more expensive than that. But, uh, I would like to take up, uh, I would like to take up those drones. Target I would like you. to take out the night vision one at night and do the, um, just check out the night vision, see what you can see. A -O oh, shit. I thought I had the, the water. Oh, shit. Getting a little bit of chaos here. You can't get flustered if you're doing competitive gaming. I mean, this is not like super competitive. When I come in here on the high keys, this one is really hard to time. Let's see what our time is. Four mi five minutes. Target you. Oh, we have plenty of time. This is about Beautiful. to end like in seconds. AOE incoming. Ah, we didn't get to suck it all up. It's alright. You're pretty good. We're doing alright. Let's gonna pop some random things. I'm a little bit low on mana. I should have better Target mana you. management, but I honestly suck at games when I find live stream. I can't be as focused when I'm talking about drones at the same time as you. Need to but it's good to practice, though. Let's get this all sucked in right here. AOE incoming. We'll clean up. Now we're cleaning the floor. Let's do it like a janitor. Clean it up. 
Is this guy dead yet? Or do I have to go? I Target could do chief. some DPS, but if I feel like I have to heal, I can't do too much DPS and heal. Oh, no, 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 tink, tink, tink. Ah, shit balls. Let's get the tank up. Don't you die on me. A I had a defensive for the tank, and I didn't pop it soon enough, so that is uh, going to be my fault. Phase two. Okay, there's phase two. I'm going to do a, a battle res right here. And then we're gonna finish strong. Three minutes left. Oh. All right. So I'm gonna have to pull out some DPS for this guy. Let's go. Okay. Oh, no, for sure. So we timed it. It's good. Wasn't perfect. Wasn't 100% clean, but it doesn't matter. You time it, you time it. That's it. Two minutes to spare. Yep. We did. Woo! Now give me all the loot. There's another uh, a crazy story I would tell you about uh, off stream canoe if you're still here. Um, this week has been crazy for me. I gotta tell you this crazy. I think I told you a little bit already. Um, some things, uh, but this week, man, I've been working on these crazy deals and it's like, it's, uh, I'm exhausted, but I'm also ex exhilarated. I'm also like energized, uh, but also about to just like sleep the whole weekend probably. So seemed fine, but I wasn't, uh, did I do okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was like perfect. It was perfect timing. I missed, uh, I missed a few things, uh, because I was, uh, distracted. I could have, uh, done better but we did it and that's what matters we can do we could do we could do more yeah i'm not really the kind of person who can really um criticize too much i think because i think i would i would need to be a lot better myself at the game before i'm running around criticizing anyone. I mean, we can nitpick. We can nitpick each other, but you know, any like core things that we really did wrong? No, I don't I don't really think so. Just every If you want to get better, I mean, it's just um It's really I think it's consistency. It's like do everything, but do it better. Do more kicks. Like what are all the things that you could be doing? Uh and think about that. It's like for me, all the things I could be doing is more DPS, you know, healing, uh, better management, more e efficient healing, more kicks. So, Canute, you're going to bed? All right, have a good one, Canute. Thanks for stopping by. It's always an honor to have you in here. Even though we're not doing anything, we're just chilling out and, uh, you know, super chill stream. It's always nice to see you in there. So, let me know uh, this weekend if you have any ideas, you know, if you want to talk about streaming or anything. Uh, I'll be here. Otherwise, have a good night. Have a good weekend, man. Yeah, this weekend's gonna be pretty chill. I'll be here all weekend though, but uh, I'm not. I don't have anything special planned. I'm just. Uh, I'm just doing. Uh, you know what I need to do? I need a haircut. That's what I need to do. But if I do anything, I need to go get a haircut. So I don't look like I'm homeless all the time. Nothing wrong with being homeless. Not saying that's a problem. It's just people probably look at me and be like, who the fuck is this Neanderthal? With his like, look like a, look like a, like I live in the woods or something. Um, I could probably use a haircut. 
but I might not. I might just not do that. So Demi Duel's left the group. Yeah, if you are comfortable doing the 16, I'll heal it. We can do, um, we can do, uh, felonies too. So everyone gets an upgrade. But maybe, maybe EB, then back to tides. That would work. Canute, you're going hiking tomorrow? Well, that's good. That's, uh, that'll be good exercise. And the weather, I think the weather is getting better, right? So... I also have, there's some things I want to do outdoors, but what I want to do outdoors is kind of funny. I want to go to the, uh, I want to go to the shooting range. Uh, there's an outdoor shooting range and, uh, that's what I've been, that's where I want to, want to go and, uh, haven't been there for a while. And, uh, I want to take, uh, a family member that also wants to go there. I think that'll be a good way to let off a little bit of steam. I would stream that too, but I don't know. I think that's a little bit controversial to stream that kind of stuff. I don't want to really want to, I'm not trying to make a statement or anything uh, by doing it. I just think it's a good recreational thing. And plus we're, we're in America, you know, these Americans over, I live in the desert. So if there's a, if there's a recreational thing to do, hiking is one of them. And then also the shooting range is also one of them too. So I think either one of those is a good way to, to blow off some steam and practice, practice a little bit. You gotta practice your marksmanship. When I was really young, I was getting to be a pretty good marksman. Uh, when I was uh, at a very early age, uh, I used to like to practice my marksmanship. You know, you gotta adjust the scope and stuff like that. Not even hunting or anything like that, just kind of a uh, sporty marksmanship type uh, things. And, uh, I miss that a little bit. I miss that. Oh, I got a summon. All right. If, uh, if there's any computer nerds coming to the stream, I want to show you, or uh, I could just tell you uh, and ask you what you think of Linus. Uh, it doesn't matter if you even watch Linus or not, but Linus Tech Tips uh, just put out a new video and it was a sponsored video. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of an ad, but Linus likes to do storage servers because he does video editing you know how he has his uh his facility and he has video editors there and he's got a really big production studio i mean it's like this multi room multi-building production thing he does it's pretty crazy it seems like a lot of fun tons and tons of gear because like companies like send him tons and tons of gear and they sent him these really these brand new super expensive servers with uh, these SSD MVME uh, drives. And uh, I like to build servers too for video editing. Even though I don't video edit, all the servers I've built have been like ready for uh, multi-machine video editing because I used to do a render farm when I was doing YouTube. And uh, when I saw that thing, I was like, Oh my God, it was so overpowered for a file server, like just insane. And I was trying to figure out how much that crazy server cost. And I was thinking it might be upwards of like a hundred grand. I hope I'm not underestimating it because I would just be blown away. But the CPUs that were in there had to cost like five or 10 grand a piece. And then he had like, it was two servers, but each server had four servers in it. So it's actually eight servers in like a, maybe like a, each one was like a two U. So it was like total, like four U ish. I think that's what it looked like. And, uh, 
I was like, holy shit. That's something I'll probably never buy unless Super Micro sends me one. <laughs> but I would love to have one of those. Or two, or four, or ten. That's Linus's newest video. Uh, if you want to see a kind of a badass server. I didn't really agree with all the software. There's the software they were talking about running on that thing was a... Uh, um, it made sense you know it's probably like it was some high-end enterprise shit but i would choose something different than what they were talking about with their software but just my personal preference it might not even probably not even better probably like way slower than what they were putting on they were putting some fast enterprise stuff and i'd put some slow open source stuff on there but uh that server is so fast even the slow open source stuff would scream on that thing in fact i might i might go so far to say that when the computer is so fast like that there might not be any difference uh really percept uh, perceptually or even uh measurably about the more optimized software and the less optimized software it might both be so fast that other bottlenecks were like networking throughput or some other some other bottleneck. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised about that either. Uh oh, somebody went offline. Oh, relogging. Okay. And let me see if there's any messages in the guild chat. No, I think everybody's pretty chill. I think that most of the people in my guild are East Coast, but the server Darkspear, I think, is West Coast. So there's kind of a weird time thing there. But I or I think the server is actually West Coast, but Mountain Time because it was I think it used to be in Phoenix or Denver, but then they uh, changed their servers. I think they started cutting out some servers and then it moved from Denver to San Francisco or LA or San Jose or something some, somewhere in California uh they put it but they kept it mountain time I think that's the story of Dark Spear because I looked it up one time I was like where is Dark Spear like and it would talk about the time zones of all the different servers and stuff, but it was really hard to find information on exactly where they're located. And I just was like, where? Just based on ping. I just wanted to make sure I was using the server that had like the best ping or see if I could find a better server. But I'm not going to leave Darkspear anyway. I'm like, for some reason, kind of attached to this server. But, uh... but that's something to think about. You know, if you're actually choosing servers, you got to find out where uh, it is and check your ping times. That's some nerd things to do. Check your ping times. Big pull right there. I'm scared of the bursting. I'm getting worried. Oh, here it comes. Oh, come on. We did it. I might have panic clicked a couple of things there, but we lived. And also, if anybody talks shit about me panic clicking, I would just claim that everyone panic clicks and then just double down on that. I would be comfortable with that. Range five. Oh, I'm totally gonna die. No, just everyone else's. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, team. 
I thought I was gonna die, and then, and then, because I thought I was gonna die, then I let everybody else die. I think that's what happened. There. That's what it seemed like. Try to get a little more DPS out. I can DPS a little bit more. I'm healing quite a bit though. I mean. When, when those uh, bursting dots come in and we're getting like five, six or more bursting, then there's going to be a lot of healing right there. At least just a couple of key heals. It's going to eat up a little mana. But now I can go to deal this one. I'll just take a quick drink. I think timing is fine. try to make sure everybody lives i'm tough on myself if anybody dies unless if somebody dies and it's because they were standing in fire or they were doing something dumb then i don't feel bad but if it's like bursting and i could have healed more then i always feel bad you know could have popped something could have planned ahead you know any little thing you could do better you should always at least think about what that is doesn't mean you have to do it you don't have to be like a super hard ass uh, if you just want to be casual but as long as you know what you could have done that's the key because then when you go into the high keys and you're being more competitive then you, then you do all those things and it's like when like right now if you're doing if you have high gear and you're doing low keys relative to your gear Then you're just kind of practicing. You're just thinking about it. You don't have to like go nuts. Do I have any other kicks other than incapacitating roar? I don't think I do. And incapacitating roar is not even a kick, it's like a stun, but But it will it will kick him still. That makes sense. Stun him. It'll interrupt him. It's interrupt, I guess we'll call it. I think I have a really brief time to drink right here, possibly. Yeah, yeah, I can. So I'm already full mana, but if if you're getting behind, I've been, I've had times where I've felt a little behind on mana and I've had to drink right there just What's because your feet? maybe I've been behind from earlier and you just kind of come into it slightly behind. And that's a great time just to sit and drink. Target you. What's your feet? But right now we're completely on track, not behind at all. Target you. I'm just spreading out those those roots right there. Target you. We'll like make a little circle of roots. Watch your feet. And 
they're just doing some off DPS. If I can pull it off. Target you. We'll just place those roots over here. Probably should have, oh, I should have placed it on the other side of my bed. Target you. Side. Now we'll get this side. Target you. Did you get it? Watch your feet. Can't really tell. I'm gonna stand right here just in case I get that. No, he's gonna eat those, fuck. Normally he doesn't eat that many. Usually we can catch all those, uh, those orbs. For some reason those orbs are coming in pretty hot. Target you. Watch your feet. Hey, Ivo. Welcome to the stream. Check it out. We're doing a boss. We're doing a good boss boss. It's a target you. So I'm healing it. I'm trying to do a little bit of extra DPS. While I heal. I could have done way more DPS there, but I think we were we were actually uh getting a little behind on those orbs at some point. So I actually had to heal a little bit, which is okay. There's no problem there. But in a perfect scenario, uh, I can probably do the most DPS on that boss than any other boss. No texting and raiding. <laughs> no texting and mythics at the same time. It's dangerous. I can leave that timer out if it's more interesting to see. I kind of like the way it looks. Can, um, hidden though. I think it looks better. But, uh, e I Ivo or Evo, what's going on? What's happening on this Friday night, Saturday morning? Or what time is it for you? Oh, I'm gonna die! No! Oh, that was so close. Let's die right there. Bursting is a little bit evil uh, on these pulls. It's actually not that bad. It's not as bad as some weeks have been. But if you get charged with the with the spinning thing and you've got five stacks of bursting on you, you're dead. You're like dead dead. So you can definitely you can definitely get owned by the mechanics in these mobs right here. Really easily. Bursting really just kind of, I think, tests, tests one's patience. And I've been healing the entire season, so I don't even know what what it's like for the DPS and like what's testing DPS uh, uh, patience. As a healer, I mean, I feel like all of these mechanics just like just affect the healers more than anyone, right? It's not like the threat is any different. Uh, 
I mean, isn't bursting just like made to an annoy the healer? Pretty sure it's just to annoy the healers. And you know what? That might maybe that's why Blizzard is kind of nerfing the the, the uh, the uh, what do you call them? The bursting. There's too many stacks. Oh no, we're dying. Felony died. Shit. There were so many stacks right there. That was like. You know, I. Fuck. Like, I, th I was even a tree. I think I. I could have did more there. I think I could have put out uh, iron bark. You know, I could have put out on somebody or even myself and then just healed other people. I think I could have got out a little more life blooms a little earlier. Should have, like, I should have known that was a big mob and just, like, just, like, really went to town there. And I think we would have all lived. Stacks. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck. That was exactly what I told you will kill you immediately. Remember when I said that? I was like, remember I said if you have like five stacks of bursting and then that guy charges you with the with the spin, the whirlwind thing, you're like dead. That's exactly what happened to me right there. And I was dead. That's just like that's just like RNG, you know. Or maybe it's a conspiracy. Maybe Blizzard just like is like, yo, Synapse, I heard you were live. Check this out. Maybe it's like targeted, you know. Poor healer. <laughs> Poor healer. <laughs> Uh, that's not the first time somebody's told me poor healer in uh in this dungeon. I like to heal, that's what I get. If I get some green circle on you guys. Over there. Yeah, I think Everbloom is um it's definitely Oh, and there's another one. There's a there's actually a mob. There's a boss ahead. Like the next boss and some of these next pools after this boss that are even worse. It actually doesn't get better. It actually gets worse. I wasn't even scared of the last mobs that were killing us. I'm, I'm scared of the mobs we have coming up. Those are the ones that scare me, actually. I can raise you. We need everybody up right now.
How do I keep getting stuck? Jesus. That's not good, that means I'm using mana. Let me go into DPS mode. There was a healing druid that uh, was pretty pro healer. Uh, healed on every healing class and was doing 3k mythics on every healing class this season. And that healer said, trust your hots. And I'm like, you may trust your hots, bro, but I don't know if I can trust him. Not as much as he trusts his, that's for sure. But anyway, it was a, it actually really good advice because, um, you know, to DPS, you kind of have to be able to trust your hots. You know, you have to deliver some heals ahead of time, knowing and anticipating what's about to happen. Put a couple of hots up and then just go in DPS and then just trust that those hots are going to do what they're supposed to do. And uh, it's kind of hard to get used to. I think that's part of the challenge. What you druid. We got uh, a resto druid. Uh, but, oh shit, he got, oh, he got hit by the, the, by the thing. Fuck. Uh, I don't think I have, I don't have my, some of my CC abilities here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Where are they going? What's your... Should be good now. Yeah, there was two of them. I tried to dispel the first one, but um, I think I dispelled one of them. Watch your... And then Tank died. And then that happened. But it looks like we're good now. Yeah, these mobs, they're so annoying. Yeah, and those aren't even the, the, the most annoying ones. It's the arcane ones that are coming up that give me hell. Oh, the pyroblast guy, he's a real jerk. AOE incoming. Oh shit, everybody's dying, why? Don't you die on me. You live. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to insist that everybody lives. AOE incoming. I just get nuked right there. <clears throat> okay. Question is, uh, can they finish these guys and then res me? A warlock can't res me. A rep pally can res me. A rep pally is going to res me right now. Fruits. Yeah, thanks, fruits. Come on, fruits. Res me. Thank you, fruits. Fruits knows how to res, but I will mention, though, in case nobody noticed, when Fruits res me, he res me with a battle res, which means now we don't have a battle res left. He didn't have to res me with the battle res. He could have just done a normal res. But I'm not going to complain. Uh, which guys you want to do? Let's see. I'm pretty sure you got to kill them all for the percent. Yeah. Oh, waiting for Felony to come back. All right.
Oh, that means that he gave he gave me the wrong res, so that means we can't die anymore. Which I think is good. It's like a test. It's like a test. It's like now you can't die. There's no more. You don't have any more mulligans. Now you just have to live the whole rest of the time. These guys are scary as fuck. Watch hold. AOE incoming. Jesus, you see my health just like tank right there? That's why these guys are so damn scary, man. You gotta kick all that stuff. Oh god. AOE incoming. Watch hold. They can res us though. I think we're all right. I think we can time this, but we're going to have to really like, I might have to try to figure out how to do some DPS because I think we are very close here. That wasn't too bad. Watch your Oh, Fruits is getting a little low. Let's get him up. Let's see if I can, uh, Pulling. get some range down here. Watch your A few, a few good bits of DPS off here. Pulling in. Yeah, that was chill. I think we got this guy. I think this is this. The RNG is not that bad right now. It's actually pretty chill. What chill? Okay, now they're taking some DPS. There's some damage, I mean. There it is. Go, go. Woo. So close. squares we're so close on time this is Everbloom and we're really we're really down to the wire here but I, I think we we can do it let's see but squares you said your guild finally beat Lich King Heroic in Wrath Lich King Heroic in Wrath did you get the mount? Five. Oh, that's no. Four. No, that's three, the achievements. Two. The achievements one. is the mount, I think. Oops. Shockwave. Wait. 
There's a bug by the spider cave. What do you mean? What's happening? Shockwave. Oh shit, I went in. Fuck. Okay, I guess I guess it's I guess I fucked that up. Did I I think I fucked that up. Shockwave. Oh no. Run over the flowers. I thought we had it. But why am I just like in there by myself? <clears throat> we didn't get the percentage like that was my fault. Like I should have stuck with you guys too. Uh, I should have known, but I thought we had, I don't know what we missed. I think what I missed was I thought we had our uh, percentage there, but we missed something. And then we uh, went back to get it, but... Uh... I've... Sometimes we will kill the boss first and then go back. But I guess everybody else went back. But now we can go kill the boss. In two minutes. Got the one percent though. <laughs> Got the one percent. It's the guy who battle res me. <laughs> That's right. We did. That's good. I totally missed. Five. Four, three, two, one. Shockwave. I'll leave the timer up so we can see it. Shockwave. I don't think we can possibly time this, but. I mean, maybe it's gonna be like right on the wire. Let's see what happens. Shockwave. I just don't want to like accidentally let people die. Oh, because I'm DPSing. Oh, geez. Run over the flowers. Shockwave. Let's just get this like this. Get the flowers. Good. Shockwave. See if we get everybody topped off. Maybe the tree will help get everybody topped off. Shockwave. Okay, I get back to DPSing this guy. Ten seconds. Can we do it? Can we do it? You gotta believe. Shockwave. Four, three, two, one. No, it's still like seventy percent. Run over the flowers. Shockwave. Yeah, this one's a real doozy to do time. And we did have 20 deaths too, so that was, um, that's, if we didn't have the 20 deaths, then I think we would be on time. And then also at Shock the end wave. there, uh, we were a little down on percentage, but you know, those little things like next time, if we just clean those little things up, then we'll have three minutes to spare at least I bet. Shockwave. But this one's always, it's in it, it, in it, and it's a mind fuck too, I think, because Run over um, the flowers. 
because of like those mobs like going through it sure the, the second half just like people are kind of like exhausted i think by the second half of this dungeon in a different way compared to the other dungeons Shockwave. there's something a little bit exhausting about the different mobs that you face but uh being able to see you hear your stream it was your recommendation for twitch and they added it by the way i was on tablet before you got skyscraper add on the left side uh let's see you stream i don't think um what do you mean skyscraper uh Evo? i don't think that was my idea i'm not sure i'm not sure what what you mean So close. <laughs> oh i see so usually when there's an ad it stops stream and plays video but now i just got picture of some equipment oh that's weird hmm yeah twitch ads definitely suck Extra interrupts. Um, yeah, the one one percent. I totally, totally miss that. I don't know what. But if we we got that one and avoided some of those bursting deaths, I think we would of time. Just the little things there, I think. It didn't interrupt the stream, so it's better. That's good. I did make one change to the ads. I did, um, I slid, like, there's like a, in the control panel, there's this bar, and I just slid it to, like, zero ads. Like, it still plays ads. I think it, now it's focused more on, like, the pre-roll ads. And before, I didn't want the pre-roll ads. So I said, okay, I'll slide the bar till it says no pre-roll ads. And that's what I did a, a couple of weeks ago. And that was terrible. I hated that. There was like ads, like the ads were just like, wow, you know, too many ads. So now I slide it so that there's pre-roll ads, but I think less ads per hour. So maybe something about what I did made it a little bit better, I hope. But I would turn, I mean, I would love to turn off the ads. The ads just, oh, they bother me so much. But if... you guys have the I'll do more yeah I need to practice I gotta practice you know, this is practice for me. Just like practice mana management, practice DPS, practice streaming and gaming at the same time. You know, it's like 
that's like not always so easy for me <laughs> you know you gotta practice that kind of stuff like a like there's endurance to it you know your mind has to like kind of you know do it and repeat it and uh, it's just like training it's just like anything else right whatever you repeat repetition kind of makes it automatic so some of the things you think about and some of the things should be like more automatic so you get that and then if you're streaming and gaming at the same time then you have to practice that too uh because that's actually pretty hard to do right wowsies is that chung chung zai oh, i always say it wrong i know i say it wrong did you change your uh streaming room no it's uh it's jcc i just um the lights are different so i think what happened was everybody went to sleep watch i'll change my lights i'll turn on the top light because i got all the smart lights because i got it all hooked up to my uh what's it called home assistant so that light up there is um uh what is it it's uh What's it called? Um, let me see if I can see what it's called. What the protocol is for that light. It's a Wi-Fi light, but it's using Tasmoda. So that's a Tasmoda light. Then there's a Tasmoda light right there. And then there is a, also a Tasmoda. I got Z-Wave too, but it looks like all these lights are Tasmoda. The floor lights back there I put that one on there they go I don't know if you can see it but those blue ones back there and so now there's enough light right now so that my camera is uh, a little bit more clear I don't have to put all these lights on it's probably too many lights but if I want to just relax my eyes uh, I could turn them off and it would still be fine But we just did a 16, I think. And then before that, we did a 15. And uh, we're just doing, there's a few guild members. And if you want to join, if, yeah, we should, everybody, anyone can join. If you're not shy, if you're too shy to be on the stream or you're doing something else, uh, then, uh, that's understandable. But if you want to come. in bring which one you bring which one you want you tell me to invite and i will invite <laughs> double tank <laughs> if we can t double tank then yeah i don't care we can do five tanks i don't care as long as we as long as we don't mess up everyone's keys if we don't mess up anyone's keys then yes, I do like the memes. The other day, somebody was trying to do five bears and I tried to get into that group, but they filled the group before I could get in. I wanted to join the five bears, uh, mythic plus I was trying to get in there. I don't, I mean five, if you want to see memes, I mean, five bears probably take forever. You'd probably be in there for two hours five bears I don't think bears do very much DPS maybe they do maybe if you're one hell of a bear 
Maybe you do some pretty good DPS. Good. Oh, hero walk. Oh, wait, how do you do hero walk? Which button is it? <coughs> I don't know if I have, oh wait, this one? No, I don't know. I don't, I think I changed my keybinds. Cause I press it, it doesn't work. Yeah, that's a good transmog. Let's see if we can inspect a little bit further. Uh-huh, I see. Oh, very nice. And then it's got the hat. Where did they get the hat? I've seen that hat. I would like that hat. Because it has like the time clock on it. Yeah, very nice. It reminds me of something. Hehehe. <laughs> I need, I need to practice, so. Yeah, that's good. all of these emails to uh, uh oh this? I keep getting all these emails to like review scientific manuscripts but they seem like I don't know if they're real or if they're like phishing scams is there even such thing as an review a scientific manuscript phishing scam is that even a thing like they just look so bizarre like I don't think they're real. And even if they are real, I don't want to review any manuscripts right now. I'm not even doing science anymore. So uh, I'm not going to be the best reviewer. I mean, I could review the manuscripts, but it's not going to. It's it, it's like um, it's like. Uh, I haven't even warmed up like I feel like I need to warm up. I need to read some manuscripts and get ready. You know, I need to charge up. If I just start reading manuscripts right now, I'll be have to have to read it ten times or something before I'm even warmed up. So we all, everybody's all uh, patched up, ready to go. All right. Oh, you gotta stay hydrated. That's true. I better pour some whiskey. I was thinking. I didn't know if I was wanted to pour a little bit, but I got a little bit of Jameson from uh, St. Patrick's. So. Jameson, you gotta watch out with this one. There's some tasty stuff. Got a long time ago when I was streaming, like many years ago when I first started streaming, everybody wanted to do cheers one night and everybody tricks me. Oh, check it out, Cordelia Swaglord. I didn't hear it. Did the, the alert play? I didn't hear it on my on my headphones, but I see Cornelia Swaggler just uh, subscribed. Oh, shit. I didn't even see it. Yeah, these are uh, DT uh, 770s. Let's have a toast. Now we have to have a cheers. Cheers. All right. 
That was proper. That was perfect timing. I already was pouring one. The Cornelius Waglord subscribed, so that's pretty sick. Um, but Square says the DT770. Uh, I think these are really good. Uh, these are probably some of the best earphones I've had. And I'm, I, my last pair was like uh, some, uh, what was it? Some Audio Technica, what are they? The 50. 50x or whatever the fuck those are um those are not comfortable these are really comfortable and sound even better there's more isolation i can hear more sounds with these uh headphones and, and they're rage. not the most expensive headphones i found them to be quite affordable compared to some of the other options and then i started listening to some audio engineers uh just to see just to see what some people thought about these headphones or what people were thinking what are the best headphones and, and when the audio pros started talking about them they're like they all had a pair of these everybody has a pair of these these headsets and they were like some of the guys were saying like you know okay check out these head some of these headsets are the best but the uh 770s are really good you know 770 is probably one of my favorite headsets and the guys that were saying this, they had every headset. They had like the most expensive, craziest uh, headsets. But every, but they loved the 770. I was like, okay, well, I gotta get these then. Like, obviously, uh, you know, they're a good price. They have the good stats that I need. They're comfortable. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Was uh, they needed to be more comfortable if you're wearing them for a long time? And. Um, when they came in and I put them on, I was like, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And, uh, so they're pretty light, comfortable. You know, they're soft on the head and on the ears. You could wear them for a long time. And if you give them a little power, because I think these are the, uh, uh, these are the ones that need a little more power. Um, the isolation is really good. You can, a you can actually hear the sounds you can hear the different you know the different uh, uh instruments and different parts of the music uh, different parts of the sound and so that isolation when they say that they have better isolation they're not lying i'm not a professional but i can hear it right away so if you're doing like audio mastering and stuff i think you could do pretty good uh with these you could get pretty far but also too you got to um you also got to consider that everybody has a different opinion when it comes to audio too i think uh even audio engineers i don't think they agree on anything to be honest so break uh, line of sight bring them over here oh boy oh boy we, we're okay <laughs> you brought all the raptors over here, I see. Oh, they're on me. What? You brought me a present? <laughs> oh, no, this is not good. This is bad. I think we got too many raptors over here. Let's go see if we can get them back. Great line of sight. Yeah, this is not, this is, uh, this is not the right place to position. Hey, number seven is here. You got the 770s too? Ooh. Ooh, that's the way. The 770s is the way. Yeah, they sound good. Which, which ohms is the one you have? Like, I can't remember which one I have. Great I have the one that's sight. like 200 ohms. I forget. It's like 250 ohms or 200 ohms or something like that. They, got, they do like the 90 ohms. And then uh, then they do like the 200 one. And I think I have the 200 one. So that was another thing I had to research. I was like, okay, we have all the ohms. Is my uh, motherboard going to support the uh, 200 ohms? version and they do i think all the new motherboards do you don't need a special sound device uh for these the only, uh, the only problem i think people were having was if you try to plug them into like a phone 
you know um then it's a problem with the phone but if you have a computer my, the, my all of my motherboards and i have different motherboards i have an asus i have a gigabyte they all play these headphones really nice Brace line of sight. i think this which one do i have now i have a gigabyte right now i think this one's even better than the asus I'll res you. Hang in there. How come I can't res you? Oh, shoot. Uh oh, it's not in your res. Let me see if I can find you. Oh, there you are. Let's go here. Yeah, just back and forth, back and forth. And see when I put my green circle? This is where I like to stand. I like to stand on the Great inside, right here, and that way I stand here because if he wants to chase me, it makes it easier for me to run, run to the other side. See, he's chasing me, so I just like head off right here. Bam. Let me just do a little back and forth, and then I'll, I'll try to DPS while he's chasing me. Well, ah, watch out. Don't let him touch your butt. No means no. No touching my butt. Break line of sight. Because he'll get you. He'll get your butt. Even like in Viz and stuff too. Oh, you got the 80, uh, number seven. All right, nice. That one, uh, you know, I, I think, I think one is not better than the other. I think they're both fine. I think it's just how much power you want to drive them. At least with the 80s, you can plug those ones into your phone or your, uh, the smaller devices and Great stuff. Line of sight. Oh, but got distracted. I got to DPS this guy. Let's get him. Yeah, that's what I like about the 770s was that uh, that you could choose which uh, you could choose like the 80 or the 200 or whatever. And um, I liked, I liked diving into that and doing the research and figuring out uh, which one was going to be the best. Because I didn't know at first. I was like, oh shit, which one do I want? I didn't even know if my equipment could even support that or not. So I had to go and learn it a little bit. That was fun. What games are you playing right now? I think I'm the, I'm the only one. Me and the people in my guild are the only ones playing WoW Retail right now, I think. I feel like I'm the only one. But I've been enjoying these Mythics. 3K. 3K Mythic Plus for the first time. <laughs> I'm all proud. <laughs> I'm all proud of it. Oh, JC, I'm to keep you alive. All the high-end raiders are probably like, oh, sign up to new with this 3k over here. I never said I was pro. I just said I was happy. 3k, that's all. I'm just, I'm just pleased, that's all. Not playing a little bit of Hearthstone? Are you good at Hearthstone? If I suck at anything, it is definitely Hearthstone. When I play Hearthstone, I think I got it all planned out. It's like, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it, and then I do it, and then I then I lose. And I'm like, what the, why the fuck? Why did I lose? Like, I think I have it all figured out, but then I don't, and that's how I know I'm bad. 
because I start off all confident. I'm like, okay, here we go. And then... <laughs> I know what I need to do. I need to get some more Let's get these guys down here. Let's get them. Oh, I'm gonna die! You know that moment where you're gonna DPS and then you're like, never mind. Oof, I got ads. Boo. Boo ads. No more ads, Twitch. No more. Stop taking advertisers' money. And also, advertisers, what do you think you're doing? Run out. Uh oh. I got, I'm like a little polymorph. Oh, no. I'm convinced that marketing is when your company is so big and you just want to waste money. That's what I think. That's what I think advertising is. It's like when your company needs a tax break and you don't want to play, you don't want to pay your employees. That's what marketing is. Marketing is like, you've got a company, you have revenue, you don't want to pay your employees, but you want a tax break. So then you buy ads. I think I nailed it here. I think I've got it all figured out. Oh shit. Dude, that guy. Oh, they came they come from behind me. Oh, I fucked that up. So here here's what happens with ads. It's like you got money your company. You got money burning a hole in your pocket, right? got all this money and you're like what should we spend it on should we pay our employees and give them a raise no nah, let's take all the extra money and then blow it on ads that no one cares about they're like oh yeah that's what we'll do that's a good idea Run! Run! Oh, you've been watching WoW Hubs? Hell yeah! Dude, Hobbs, he knows what he's doing. Unlike companies who spend money on ads, WoW Hobbs knows what he's doing. Yeah, this pool, this pool is definitely a tough one. Look at these guys, they're tough. I'm gonna try to do some interrupts. But I really don't feel confident about doing too much DPS, some light DPS. Oh, dude, I can't even, like, I'm healing and it doesn't help. This is too much chaos. Get some of my little, my little helpers out here. Sorry for the deaths, guys. Yeah, I need to watch some more WoW Hobbs so I can be better at uh, Hearthstone. <laughs> Problem is, I'm so bad at it, I would have to really watch a lot of WoW Hobbs for a long time. Watch your step. Watch your step. What? Watch your step. Look at this big meanie jumping around. 
Watch your step. Tough guy. Can you actually watch your step? Before those uh, totems come down. Watch your step. Phase two. Yeah, you yeah. go. Now we DPS him. Let him have it. I haven't talked to Watch a Hobbs in a while. I mean, I don't know when is the last time I talked to him. I do talk to a Hobbs Watch regularly. I do talk to him. But, um, I haven't talked to him for Watch a while, so feet. I definitely need to drop by and say hello. I think I'm subscribed on this channel. I think he's subscribed on my feet. channel, too. You can go by and say hello. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. I'm gonna hop right Watch over here. Feet. Give myself a green circle. And then Watch your feet. Off. He is here. He's almost dead. Let's get him. Here, I'll help finish him off. Watch your feet. Well, Hobbs is a nice guy. He's a good guy. He's good people. Well, Hobbs is good people. Vicioso is on the YouTube side. I don't know how long he's been there though, because I've been looking at the game and I looked a little bit at Twitch chat. But Freakazoid is on uh, the YouTube side, I see now. He says, Who's this potato? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Oh shit, we're way behind on time. Oh, we're totally not going to make it, I think. You know, I don't know. I think. There's a different route in here that I think might be slightly better, but I don't really memorize the route. I think the route we took, we had a tough time. I think, I think if I were to do this again, I would say, let's do the other route um, and avoid the guys that spit up all the all the goo and try to go around some of those guys because they really punished us. Uh, and if we can handle the goo, then fine. But I think we didn't. And I've seen that happen a lot of times. The goo can really like. I think you need like a special cop for it or something. So I think there's another way you can go around. Uh, so that you don't have to pull too many of those guys. It's actually a really. I Charging. think that's a good point. Mm. Is that. I think this dungeon. Because you can do different paths. I think it's hey, really oh, calm dependent on which one. Which path you choose. And there's a lot of paths. Charging. Move. Absolutely, probably like at least five or six different paths in here. But I think we went on the main path. AOE incoming. It's not a bad path. Charging. Move. AOE incoming. Charging, move. AOE incoming. Watch out for those bursting stacks. Actually, Charging, not bad. There's move. just a couple here, but um, what it is is like 
the mechanics, like the mechanics will stack. So if you've got bursting on top of the AOE stomps or charge, you know, then it really hurts. Then it's like, surprise, you did. I really shouldn't try to use Mill Fire's DPS, I think. I think, well, I mean, I think I should, but uh, it takes a lot of DPS. So, I mean, a lot of uh, mana. So I think normally I would want to avoid Moonfire if I'm trying to conserve mana. And which works, what works a lot better instead is if I go kitty form. And then just like some moon fires, uh, some strategic moon fires should work out. And then I've got Sunfire. Sunfire definitely should always be used, I think, because uh, it does a pretty good amount of DPS and it's easy to cast. That means I don't have to shape shift. I can cast it in my healing form uh, just for like a little passive DPS on that dot. Don't let the fire burn you. Enrage. Oh no, they got JCC anyway. Take damage. I'm stealing him. I was bringing him, he was almost a full. I was actually getting some good heals on him right there. And then uh, that dude charged him and just killed him. Enrage. It was bad luck. Take damage. There's a lot of damage going on right now, holy shit. Enrage. Oh, don't die. Proceed to kill everything. Rapido. Enrage. Oh, it's a lot of stacks. Okay, I'll just drink really quick. Uh, Ivo says again. I got skyscraper says banner as an ad, so I forgot. Really, what's the what's your your magic? I wonder if do you use like an ad blocker? I wonder if there's something something specific about it. Can you even use ad blocker for Twitch? My ad blocker doesn't block. Maybe I need a new ad blocker. Take damage. I remember there was an ad blocker that worked one time. I just didn't use it. Take damage. Transfusion. Yeah, that was a good one. Just gotta finish it off. Transfusion in two seconds. Repair. Take damage. And you gotta take damage because if you don't, the boss will get all their health back. And then you'll be 
would be going back for more DPS. But we got it. I think we're, we're, you know, we're actually really close. We're, uh, we are a little bit behind on time, but, uh, it's, it's not really bad, but it, we're, I don't think we're definitely not going to time it, I think, but, uh, we're going to be like really close again. I just needed to do a little more DPS, I think. I could sometimes do like 30 or 40 K, um, DPS. I think. What some of the uh, the high mythic guys were saying was you should at least be doing 30k uh dps if you do 30 that's a pretty good uh baseline um and 30k dps for a resto tree you are actively dpsing to get to 30k uh so it's not like it, it really doesn't seem like that much dps and it's not that much dps but you do have to work even for 30k because druids just don't do that much dps Run but out. i can do 40. If I'm really, like, actually doing it. Watch your step. Oops, sorry. I kind of wandered off there. Oh, we got bloodlust. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> the spiders Watch your <laughs> step. The spiders are Run out. fucking trolls, aren't they? Yep. Ah, watch out. This is not so bad. Just try not to get hit by the spiders. We'll be fine. Doesn't seem too bad. Until Watch there's a million step. spiders. That'll happen soon. Run out. Watch your step. Oh, the spiders are getting you. You gotta clench those butt cheeks. Don't let them touch your butt. Because they're coming. You gotta clench. Clench and run. Run out. Ah. gotta live Must watch live. your step oh, shit. come on 15 seconds guys we're so close somebody do something hooray seven seconds we did it <laughs> we actually did i didn't think we were gonna time it uh i was wrong i didn't think we were gonna time it and we did I got some DPS there in the last second. It wasn't, I didn't really do that much DPS, but I was healing like crazy. Where's the faith? <laughs> JCC's the faith. I didn't think we had it, but we did it. I didn't think you guys could do it. I just thought my DPS wasn't enough. To do it, but you guys did extra DPS, so then it was fine. But yeah, we gotta get those keys. It's good. Gotta get those keys leveled up. Jeez. 
Cheers to that. Cheers. The, the, uh, Shaman says, uh, Blizz is making me work for my 2K. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. You got it. You got the 2K. Yeah, as long as he's playing with us, he'll get it. He'll get the 2K. As long as I'm not live streaming, it, then he'll get the 2K. If I'm live streaming, there's... There's no promises, but no, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I, it's funny though. Cause I, if I'm not live streaming, if I'm just like focused, like quiet, if I'm just like quiet, just like, you know, just watching it very carefully that I do stream. I do play a lot better. Oh, look, Vicioso says I quit playing. Wow. I've been playing a lot of battlefield. Oh, battlefield. Yeah. Battlefield is my favorite. I haven't been playing Battlefield, but I, um, when I get really bored, I think when I finish this season, I might go and switch and play a little Battlefield. And, uh, uh, I do get kind of hooked on Battlefield. GG. Glad. Be good night. Yep, seven seconds left on that last one. Seven seconds. <laughs> I think it's fun when they come down to the wire like that. Like I, I even popped a few extra things. I popped uh Right there at the end, I hit this ability on my weapon, which does 400,000 nature damage. So I was like, oh shit, you know, I was hitting it. I thought somebody was going to die uh, if I start DPSing, but I started hitting it and then bam, we got him. Vicio says, says uh, I finished the season off wow and I got my mythic kills and let's get some uh some ram naps oh ramp naps and bf can we still ramp I definitely do want to ramp you remember those old videos of ramping in the uh in the quad on youtube let me see if I can find one of those. I don't know if I still have those, but I remember there's actually some good videos. That's probably out of all the videos that I made. Those stupid videos we made in uh, Battlefield and also um, uh, PUBG. You remember we had some dumb ones in PUBG? Those were literally the best videos I ever made. I had the most fun making. And then uh, one of the uh, Battlefield videos I made uh, had a special music. I did a collaboration with one of the musicians. Uh, let me see. Shit, I don't know if I'm going to find those because they're so old. They're not going to be on the top of Google search because they're old enough. Google is going to bury them. I'm gonna have to go straight to YouTube. Well, we want to welcome in our friend Tucker. Car oh, uh, Redacted's page came up in my search history. Let's see, uh, I got the Battlefield. The GTA 5 one, those were some good ones too. I have fun in GTA. Like, in GTA, I'm like a little kid. I'm like, when I start playing GTA, I get silly. Oh, quads in space. Okay, I found quads in space. I'm gonna play this one because it does have music. This video didn't get very many views, but I personally like this one. 
But there are some other good uh, videos on here. And you can look at them if you search YouTube for Synapse Battlefield. There's actually a... What the fuck? There is a ton of... There's even some division, some... Wow, there's a lot. What the hell the hell is there so many damn synapse videos on here? Battlefield 4, funny moments, epic, oh, the epic montage. That one got some pretty good views. Battlefield Hardline intro, damn. You're making me miss the old intros, man. There's some good intros on there. Okay, I'll play one. GTA 5 rapping. Okay, so there's how you search for the videos if you ever want to search them. And then let me see what the guild is doing. Everything I might mess up more. Uh. Yeah, I will do more if you guys uh, need any more. Otherwise, I may do some 20s later too. But first, I'm going to watch a Battlefield video quick. Let me see if I can play it on OBS too. If I click this button. Oop, wait, let me see if this will capture YouTube. Doesn't it? I'm trying to do like a window capture, but. It doesn't seem to refresh. So let me abort that and then go to monitor capture and I'll play it like this. So the music was by, uh, I was spectating Haru 87. Well, he ramped like a champ. Shout out to Stephen walking was, uh, and monster cat did this video. So this wasn't the one of you and I, um, freakazoid. This was a different one, but it is quad ramping. So let's check it out. You may have to take some bong rips to really soak this in all the way.
Just like that. Crazy. Let's see if we can find another one. To find one of the ones that Freakazoid and I did. Or was it just a clip? The hard line. I would play the montage, but those ones are a little bit longer, I think. Uh, Battlefield 4, 7 minute video. Let me try. Sign up to PUBG. Oh, featuring sign up. Oh, what was this? This is somebody else's uh, YouTube channel. Somebody recorded me in PUBG or something. What? Where the hell did that come from? I'm afraid this PUBG video might be a Twitch clip and not an actual YouTube video. But let me see what this video is really quick. I see at least three. start from that okay so freakazoid you are in this one it's lardar and freakazoid and lardar uh uploaded this video um, i see at least three Just drive over oh you hit one down you hit go, one go <laughs> yes I'm, keep I'm going go go go. Yeah. go go it's just a short clip <laughs> that's funny that's a good one Yeah, there were some shenanigans in uh, PUBG. Those were some good times. PUBG was hard. Like, I I wasn't that great at PUBG. I was, like, always running for my ass, I feel like, in PUBG. But we also did some crazy stuff in there. Yeah, PUBG. Oh, yeah, number seven, dude. <laughs> number seven is here in the Twitch chat. And yeah, number seven uh, definitely was part of all of those shenanigans. If there was any any shenanigans going on, he was right there in the middle of it. Yep, it's true. Yeah, I'm gonna do some twenties now, but let me see if there's. Yeah, I'm gonna do one last search. Quads in space. So silly. Well, it's pretty hard. It. 3D camera tracking. There's just like too many videos. I don't know which one to go. What the fuck is that? Signups highlights. We did have some funny division videos. I think some of the funniest stuff uh, were also in division. I would totally like just stream all day and play games all day. We need. We. I need to get back to doing that. I really do. I need to uh, finish. I need to like get my company. I need to get somebody to help me run my company. That's what I need to do. So if you guys would like to run my company for me so that I can stream all day, I would like that so we can get back to the live streams more regularly, full time. Oh, Frank the Tank. Just gonna close that up for now. I had a future. That's right, number seven. You're right. You're right. There, there were some. We had some chicken dinners. That's right. I, I did have some chicken dinners. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I did. I did. I just never felt like. Um, I never felt like I was super aggressive. Like I always lacked a little bit of aggressiveness that I think I needed to really wreck people's faces off completely so what i did was i tried to play a little smarter i tried to use strategies but as you know the guys that were getting the most chicken dinners they were not playing strategic they were just going in there just 
just fucking is what they were doing, right? I never felt like the guys that were really getting all the chicken dinners, I never felt like they had it. They didn't care about strategies. Well, they had a little strategy. They were like, okay, I'm going to, you know, they, they had like a direction they were going. That was their only strategy. They had so much, so much aggression and like, like momentum, you know, like just like Dr. Disrespect style, uh, uh, destruction and confidence that those were the guys I had to survive against. And if I could survive them, then, then, uh, then we get some chicken dinners. And then there was also hackers. Uh, I think, Oh, did you find it? Oh, I was wondering if, uh, we got to find that one clip when Freakazoid was ramping like crazy in PUBG. I remember that one. He was going crazy. And I was like, no, no, no. I was like, slow down, slow down. And he's just going crazy. <laughs> it's like, we're going to die. He's like, fuck it. Let's go. I thought we were going to die and we didn't die. One time I think I died and then he, and then he rezzed me. I think I died on the, in the car and then he rezzed me and then there we go again. I thought for sure we were going to die, but nope. We just kept on ramping and ramping. You know who really likes PUBG is, uh, Joel Deadmau5. He's, uh, he's, uh, played a lot of... PUBG he still plays. I don't know if he still plays now, but uh, a couple of years ago, he was playing. I think we were hanging out. He was playing PUBG, and I was like, holy shit. Brought back all the memories. So if you want, if you want me to stream more, then just uh, buy my company. I'll sell it to you. There's a guy that tried to buy my company the other day. Again. And uh, I was really curious, this guy, he wanted to buy the company. I won't see too many details because, you know, who knows, you know, I think there's some negotiation and stuff uh, that we were doing. But, uh, the crazy thing was he came, he wanted to buy my company. And he said, uh, I want to merge with your company. And, uh, you know, let's talk about that. And I was like, okay. I didn't tell him. No, I just wanted to hear what he, what he had to say. And he says, Five, uh, you know, four, I think we're a good three, match. I want to merge two, and I want to dissolve one. your company. Imagine somebody comes to you and they say they want to dissolve your company. That could be really good news uh, if you're a tech company, you know. So I was like, I was like, you don't say. And uh, so he gave an offer, and it was a really bad offer that no one ever in their right mind would ever take, like ever. And I was like, I didn't think anything of it at first. I was just like, oh, it's negotiating, you know, just coming in low. Like, that's okay. That's normal. That's how you do. It. That's how you come in. Because uh, that's how you start, especially if you're the one coming, right? If you're coming to me, and you know, I was like, ugh, like I, I was like, I don't think so. But I just want to, let's just just hear him out and see what he has to say. But I don't think anything's gonna happen. So we did some more kind of talks and negotiations and stuff. And then at some point, he was actually making me think that he was going to do a good deal. And then I told him, okay, final offer. Here's my offer. This is what it would take to uh, do what you said you want to do to my company and change the world and save the world. This is take it or leave it. And uh, he didn't want to do it. He didn't, he didn't do it. So I was like, you can get it then. No deal. And he's like, you're a terrible negotiator. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm like, nope. I'm a good negotiator. Like, I'd be a terrible negotiator if I took your shitty deals. I didn't tell him that, but that's what I was thinking. So that was actually a rush. That was a rush because I thought, you know, 
he was, he was acting like a bull. And I was like, this dude, is he really going to, like, like, is he, is he as much of a bull as he's, like, pretending to be? I was like, let's find out. And nope, he was all, he was bullshit. Oh, holy shit. Let's see if I can save this tank. He really shouldn't have died right there, so... Let's see if he's even savable. He is, he is. He's pretty good. Ooh, they, this guy's hurt though, these mobs hurt. You want to survive, you've got to get these guys. There's one little uh, thing you can do if you LOS right here. Sometimes as a healer, I'll LOS. I'll come out and dispel. Drop some heals and then just LOS for a second. Fuck. That guy needed to LOS. Like right now. Before, I, if I need to like kill myself, top myself off, just go yeah, LOS right there. Doesn't hurt. I'm not sure what those guys cast that deletes people. Um, I think they just need to be kicked. That, that's actually not bad. I don't think we're bad on timing. It just that pool did get fucked up though, so that always uh, messes up with the time a little bit. But it wasn't terrible. These guys actually have some good DPS as long as they're um, not dead. But this is like a 20 or 21, right? It's a 21. BRH is pretty easy though, I think. So this is much higher than the mythics I was doing before. Before I was doing like uh, run away, uh, I don't know, sixteen or sixteen or whatever. Um, but this is a twenty-one. Run away, keep moving. Oh shoot! I wanted to DPS right there. Damn it! I wanted to get a little bit of DPS yeah, right there. Gotta do the circles. Run away. There we go. Oh, another one. Oh, they don't want me to DPS. What the fuck? Come on. Well, good they're doing it to me because I don't really DPS that much anyway. So it's good those mechanics are running on me and not Run away. one of the other Keep DPS that, who, who are good. Now, I don't think I have my pushback abilities because I'm a noob and I didn't spec them this week. But I do have one entangling roots. I get some roots on these guys. Too many getting in. Fuck. Fuck. More roots. More roots. Okay, now this is gonna hurt. AOE incoming. What? I died. Oh, oh no. Fuck. That was not supposed to happen. We got it. Oh, we got it? Okay, they're gonna finish, but that does suck on time. So those two guys are gonna finish. And he's right, they do got it. But now we're just kinda like, you know, we, we could have finished that really, really fast. But yeah, we got it. Let's look at them. Look at, there they go. So the guy's gonna come or let me check my 
pots. I'm gonna uh, activate this Howling Rune. I don't think I have one. I can uh, activate the uh, some other things, but this is not. Uh, this is. I don't need to take all the pots. This should be a pretty easy one, I think. But I do have a suggestion for a good pot. You gotta get your uh, what's it called versatility pot. That's the one you want. Oh shit. Why did he stop right there? What the hell? No, we don't get bursting on these guys, so I think he's alright. I think he can just go. See, by stopping now, we're all getting these. I can't dispel all of these. I can only dispel his. These guys have a lot of DPS. These guys are, are pretty lit. They're pretty jacked. That hunter. Hunter and priest. And also jabs the windwalker. They're just they're just wrecking. A little bit thirsty. Shockwave. Shockwave. Look out. Look at them focus to get that guy down. Whoa, these guys are these guys are nuking. I think um, in 20s, if you're doing like a 20 key, 20 key is where you, you do, 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 higher players just do 20 keys for a Shot vault. Wave. So, you know, you're not pushing rating, just want to get a couple of games for your vault, then uh, you do like 20, 21. So you get these guys in here that are over geared for a 20 or a 21. And they just come in here and wreck. Cause I'm in here too. The 21 is easy. Shock for me wave. As long as I'm not, as long as I'm not fucking around, uh, these can feel very easy. This one feels very easy to heal. And I shouldn't be going oom um or anything. That's just because I'm not being efficient. I should have full mana, DPSing, and everything. If I can drink, see, I can even drink. Shot I shouldn't be wave. drinking though, I should be DPSing, but I'm drinking because I'm a noob. Oh, that guy got deleted. Holy what the fuck hit that guy. I don't think he they kicked for him. <laughs> you better come hang out back here with me. Ah, no, I'm gonna die, fuck. Shockwave. Tights. Oh, that little tiger right there. Get some heals, defensives. It's a little kitty, whatever that guy is. Shockwave. See, I'm actually healing. Shouldn't be healing so much.
Gotta get those kicks. Their DPS is incredible. But, um, these mobs, they also hit really hard. They hit like trucks. If you don't, uh, kick those, like, it, they'll kill us. It's gonna live or what? Oh, he lives. Holy shit. I can run back. I think they can live. Or maybe not. If I think if I would have just stayed invisible, I would have lived right there. I shouldn't have started healing. I wanted to pre heal, but that was a mistake. They just nuked me. going what are they even talking about there's nothing to like decide they just need to kill everything they're contemplating something but I don't think there's anything to contemplate the priest is talking shit to someone <laughs> They're getting, they things are escalating. Shockwave. Ah, they still want my ass. Somebody's on my ass over here. Shockwave. Really? Oh my. Mm. I don't think they're going to survive bursting. Son of a. Shockwave. I got hit by a double mechanic there. Like, the uh, mob that was on my ass, like, came around the corner to like point blank shit on me. And then I got hit by the whirlwind. Shockwave. Shockwave. Come on, live, motherfucker. Sometimes when I want somebody to live, I just press all the buttons. Just hope they live. Sometimes they do. <laughs> like, you know, panic. Shockwave. It's like, live, and just start punching your keyboard. I don't think that's the most optimal way to do it, but it happens. Yeah, for this guy, like... As a healer, I could just stack on him. Run out. I don't need to go anywhere. When it says run out, you don't run out. Just stay there. I think Target just, you. Like, yeah. Now this one here, you just stack. Just stay there. Yeah, see? And all the green stuff is just run one out. little pile right there. You see that? That's how you do it. Yeah, even somebody said nice. One of the guys likes how that. Because that did go well. Sometimes that gets fucked up. The 
that did actually go pretty well. And then for the green stuff, Later you can, you can just jump. Run. Look at this. See that? God, it didn't work as well. You're supposed to just be able to jump. Stay back. Laser on you. Run. See if I can just jump on it. Oh, oh, it's not working. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck, it's not working. I need to jump like faster or something. Run out. Target you. Rush. Yeah, it's gonna be stuck. Stuck it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Run out. I still did burn some mana there, though. Hey, it's not telling you. I was just like... I was just like totally focused right there. Uh, Wix and Yaw says, No class color raid friends. Makes me sad. I know, I don't do the class color. Like, no, I, it doesn't help me. It does In PvP, it does. I think in PvP, you have to have class colors. But I I can't do class colors on... Uh, on five mans. But I know what you mean. I have used class colors before, but I don't really, uh, I, I need to see the health. Like, I, I actually use the bars. Like, a lot of healers will, um, use all kinds of different, like, cookie cutter mods and shit. Everybody heals the same way. I, I just don't heal that way. Like, I literally just use those bars, which you see right there. And then I have a few add-ons that, uh, that, you know, show me more debuff information. Uh, but not In like how most people do it. So is it holding me back? I mean, it, I guess it could be. Maybe I'm being stubborn, but I don't think so. I think I just train to to see the information like that. I'm just used to it. But I, from a viewer standpoint, I get you probably want to see the class color. It would help you. It just doesn't help me. Watch your step. But I know it's a setting. I'm just, I'm talking about two different things. I'm talking about the class colors and I'm talking about like the typical mods that most, most healers are doing. There's some really cool mods out there. There's actually mods that people use that I don't even know what they are. I tried to find them and I can't find some cool mods that I've seen some YouTubers using. Shockwave. Oh, the coming stacks, nine stacks, are we gonna live? Oh, how do we live that? It's because these guys are actually good. They're actually using like defensives and stuff. Fat, <laughs> yeah, that pretty. The priest has been making some little comments here and there. He's helping out too, though, but he didn't mess to spell that. Maybe he did. Maybe he messed to spell that at the start. I need to chill with my heals, though. I am using too much mana. I need to trust my... I need to trust my hots, but how can I trust my hots when people are just dying left and right like that? People are taking damage. I can't just... Trust me, that's not fuck that one. Watch your step. Look at this guy, what's this guy doing over here? The priest is over there with the mob all by himself. I know people that don't use it. Alright, I don't feel so bad then. I don't feel so bad, and I just, uh, I don't, I don't like depending, oh shit, another, it, oh, what the, what, the, and now the tank, what is going on? What is this? Defensive. I don't have any more, uh, I can't go invis. My shadow meld is, is down. Oh, I've never seen a tank die like that so fast right there. <laughs> what happened? They were doing great. Anyway, obviously I need to focus on that tank and give him some, some iron bark, apparently. Um, but anyway, what I was trying to say before I let everybody die was, uh, I, um, I try not to depend on the add-ons too much, but I don't want to be stupid. Like you got to use some add-ons so that you, uh, so that you, uh, 
have an advantage. Like, that's okay, but some of the bots I see people using is like, why even, why even depend on that? But it's style. I don't want to judge. It's style. It's style. I don't even play well that much anyway. Too hard, Greg. But I did get 3k on this, uh, this guy. So I put in some hours this season. That's for sure. Enrage. Enrage. Okay, you guys ready for stair boss? Think I can do it? I don't think so. Ah. That was close. That was a close one, but I made it. I made my I made my group proud. I win. Hardest boss here, yeah. Where's the priest? Is he way back there again? And then I guess Nightbot is, uh, oh yeah, Nightbot started doing that message recently. I think I'm, sup I don't know if I'm supposed to change something or what. But, uh, VCOSO says, how come you don't play BF no more? I do. I just haven't played recently. But I've, dude, I've put, look at how many hours I've played Battlefield 2042 or whatever it's called. Look at my hours in there, dude. I put some, I put two, way too many hours in there. I love that game. I just haven't played recently. Should I go in there? I don't even care. Battlefields. I don't even try to go good. I just I don't even try to be good. I just go in there and and uh, it, I th I feel like I can blow off steam in Battlefield. I feel like uh, I'm just going to shit on some people. I might get shit on, but then I just come back, come back and just keep going. I do think Battlefield is a good game though in terms of like gameplay and um, uh, just like engagement and stuff and even progression. Like they keep adding content to it and I respect that about games because remember games are hard to develop and sometimes the games we love don't get the development we want and I'm not saying Battlefield does all the dev that I want. I think, I think that's a problem sometimes with Battlefield but uh, they are developing that game and adding new content to it. There's seasons and everything. So, I do think that's pretty badass. And it's not a cheap game, too. Battlefield, the EA games are expensive. And I feel like, out of all the games, I've gotten the most value out of uh, Battlefield. Oh, shit. This tank's gonna need a little help, because if you don't kick those guys, they start hitting, like, trucks. I'm actually gonna here just to make it easier to heal I tried to kick that but my incapacitating roar didn't kick that so I guess I can't kick it oh he died I tried to save him that was the Seven minutes. Uh, are we good? We good boys. We're not gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> he beat me. Fucking priest. I thought this was going to be a lot in the park. But it's actually, uh, actually just a little bit Not challenging. Back. 
These guys do have really good DPS though. Everyone in this group can just focus for two seconds. These guys are hitting like trucks, so. Or, or maybe not, because we're actually struggling on time a little bit, so maybe they're not. Knocking back. Maybe they're not as good as I felt like they were. I think they are, though. I think we just got to be distracted. Spread. Knocking back. Oh, thanks for pushing me back over here. Oof. Spread energy high, knocking back. Energy high, what does that mean? DBM is like energy high. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Seems like a good thing. Watch your step. Five minutes left. What do you think? Think we're gonna time it? I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be on the wire. We can though. Watch your step. The last boss in this dungeon is kind of an asshole. He does hit really hard. Watch your step. Bad, but he does hit pretty hard. Watch your step. But Freakazoid, I think uh, I'm gonna try to play some Battlefield that you're still Watch your step. Not tonight, though. I'm not. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna play tonight, but. If you've been actually playing, I do wanna go and play some Battlefield with you, cuz. I'm pretty good in there. I'm pretty good. I could play a, um, a supportive class, too, cuz I like Watch your step. supportive in uh, Battlefield, so. I think that'll be fun. Watch your step. Do some team play. Battlefield is a game that really benefits from team play, but not very many people play as a team. Also, you just go in there and just fuck around, but if you're actually playing as a team, it's a damn fun game. Watch you your can live step. forever, too. Everybody's playing as a team, like, you're gonna be unstoppable. Right Watch your step. Oh, shit. Fuck. Let's let that guy hit me like that. Uh, can I release? I'm releasing. Yeah. What's so your I step? died because I got hit by the jump and then I had bursting stacks on me. Those two things don't make What's your step? I think just about anything will kill you when you have bursting stacks. I think any mechanic. What's your step? What's your step? Watch your step. Two minutes and I need to repair. That's not good. This boss just has ways of killing everyone. Watch your step. Like that little glaive he throws out, you cannot get hit by that thing. Like, I'm afraid to even DPS because somebody's going to get hit by that or something. All right, let's go. Hey, Egareth is here. What's up, Egareth? This is a 21. Here, I'll put the timer so we can look at it. 
gonna be a hey, oh, tight incoming. one. It's a tight. Oh shit! No, oh, no, people are dying. Why is that happening? Do I have a battle res? I do. Let's get him up. Let's get him up. Go, 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 go. Watch your step. Keep moving. Oh, I shouldn't have popped it there. I should have just waited. That's right. How much health did he have right there? If we can down now. him right here. No, he still's got quite a bit of health. I was feeling like. I do have plenty of mana though. I can hang as long as people don't die to some weird shit. Oh, he's gonna die again. Why? Why is he dying? That was again there. He must not have taken his versatility pot. Don't forget to pot, kids. I mean, don't do pot, kids. I mean, I don't know. Do what you want. Watch your step. Keep moving. Here, go fast. There you go. Hey, Gold Queen is here. I'm going focus mode on this boss because. Oh, we need to get the time. I thought we were going to almost be on time. Oh, these guys, I don't know why they didn't time. I think. I think we died on. Uh, we missed because you didn't kick. Somebody wasn't kicking. The priest is also just talking a lot of shit, but uh, there was definitely something lacking there, but it was close. So, Gold Queen, how are you doing? Egrath, I'm doing great. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm looking at you whipping these players into shape. Not really. I mean, it, that, it was a 21, and I was a little bit distracted because I'm streaming, but I felt like those guys had really good DPS. But I think we were. I think we were all a little distracted because uh, how many deaths? Did they have it wasn't like terrible but brh this dungeon is probably one of the easier ones so you should be timing this one but 20 also not everybody is ready for 21s it can be really hard too but uh Santos was busy i thought i'd say hi Both queens in synapse voice. I'm reading backwards. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do another. One. I want to do another one, but I think it's. I think I've already done like. How many of these have I done tonight? Uh, I think I've done enough. Of them, but I do want to check how many more I need to do. In theory. For the rest of the week so i can get a full vault loadout let's see how many i good morning i hope you guys had a great week what are you doing for what are you doing what are you doing this weekend is anybody doing anything exciting or just chilling because i'll tell you right now i'm just chilling this weekend i don't have anything in particular planned what I should do is get a haircut because my hair is getting long enough that it's driving me crazy. But uh, I do also like long hair. So I need this week three 20 keys to be at max level. So that means I'll have a chance at the highest gear. I started late this season, so I don't have all of the gear. I could actually use some good vault. Uh, things everyone who started early in the season they have all their vaults all figured out everything they're done for the season 
But me, here I am at the end of the season, trying to catch up a little bit. Oh, you're recovering from surgery. That's right, Gold Queen. How did it go? I hope it went well. I hope you're healing. I wish you the best uh, for recovery. But I think I saw something you posted on LinkedIn. I think mentioning that. And I did go to LinkedIn uh, like yesterday or the day before. And I think I saw something on there. So reco recovery went fine. Sore. Oh, yes. Annoying. Okay. Well, that sounds not bad. Sounds like it's not too bad, at least. Egreth, you're contemplating going back to sleep and you only got two hours? Dude, I mean, I'm glad you're here and I want to hang out with you, but I do suggest you get some sleep because uh, maybe now it's a good time to catch up on sleep. It's a time of the week where if one is going to catch up on sleep, it would probably be now, I think. And also sleep is good for you. Never underestimate the importance of sleep, I tell people, because everybody's so willing to just leave sleep as a low priority but in fact sleep really does have an impact on our daily mood you know just our mood in general uh i think uh i think uh it's good to have a better mood and also not getting sleep also can elevate stress hormones and some other things that are otherwise unfavorable for one's balance and health if you can sleep of course there's also the case where you know where maybe you, even if you want to sleep you can't that could happen that's not good if that's happening but if you can sleep definitely get your sleep yeah if you can no one will let you sleep by the way everybody will be like you know talking shit if you're sleeping all the time no one will let you sleep. You gotta take the sleep is what you have to do, <laughs> don't you think? I think so. Look how professional and happy I am to be exhausted and overworked by my employer. Oh goodness. Oh, ignore LinkedIn, that's my customer service voice. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Well, I go in there too, like I had um I don't spend too much time on LinkedIn uh, at all, but I will admit that LinkedIn is a little addictive to scroll. You know, it's kind of got that Facebook effect to it where you start scrolling and it's just like, it's hard to stop. You have to say, whoa, you have to say, stop scrolling. Otherwise you just stay there scrolling all the time. But I don't really like LinkedIn that much. I don't like, I don't like how people behave on there. It's just, it's very stuffy and it's not even stuffy. It's like, it's like, it's such a bunch of bullshit stacked on top of bullshit. It's like people talking about, oh, about their, their companies and they did this and they did this. And it's like, uh, it's like a lot of fluff. It's like a lot of fake posturing and a bunch of weird behavior going on there. So when I look at, there's some good stuff in there too. There's some interesting reads and, you know, business related, interesting things, but for the most part, I see people posting on there and I'm like, why, what are you doing? Stop posting on the internet. Just stop. <laughs> but I do get connected with people like, uh, you know who I got connected with yesterday on LinkedIn? Actually, it was, yeah, it was yesterday. Um, a guy I was trying to contact for a while, he was a uh, law enforcement. Uh, so he's like, he was a cop. He was a detective. But he was into drone, using drones for public service, for public safety. And um, he was doing some really cool drone shots, like, you know, like stuff on fire and, you know, using drones in like a public safety scenario uh, for rescue and fire and stuff like that. And I was like, ooh, that looks cool. I like that. So I messaged him and I was like, I like drones and I also like streaming. Do you ever stream drones? And he's like, he's like, yeah. I'm like, well then we should talk. So then we talked about, uh, streaming drones and I was like, I, I would like to stream, uh, police drones. <laughs> and it sounds funny saying that, 
Uh, but that was, you know, that that's what I wanted to do. Also, just so you know, that would be a crazy deal if you got like a government contract to do streaming with, uh, you know, uh, streaming with drones for uh, public safety. I think that would be super cool. So I'm going to try to do that. Oh, you got an email from a learner who decided I wanted to organize a meeting with them while I was in the hospital and was shocked that I didn't turn up. Hmm. People. People are generally confused, I would say, uh, most of the time. Right? So, no surprise. So I let them have a temper tantrum all by themselves. Oof. Good. If someone's going to have a temper tantrum, I certainly wouldn't want to be a part of it. So, yep. No temper tantrums. That's what we teach in my house. You know, the kids, there's no, no fits. There's a rule in my house. No fits. And that goes for everyone, including me. I have to promise them that I'm not going to have a fit. And they also have to promise not to have fits. We don't do fits. It's not bad, right? You can live your life not running around having fits. It would be fine, right? Not a bad rule. No fits about that as a rule. Some adults, I don't think, got that rule growing up. Because some adults still have fits. Like, uh, lots of fits. Let's think. Think about it. No fits. Unless you have to. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Forget it. Egreth says, I see less dumb opinions on LinkedIn than on Facebook. Yeah, okay, okay. Egreth, okay, good point. All right, that's plus one for LinkedIn. It is a little more professional for the most part. But I do want to counter... Uh, the professionalism though because the professionalism I see is very fake in a, in a way uh, I think it's people uh, there's a lot of pretending I see in business uh, which I don't like I think there's a lot of announcements I think there's a lot of news a lot of marketing um, uh, there's a lot of bakery it's kind of like If you guys ever do photography, you know what a still life is? I don't know why I'm using this as an analogy. It was just the first thing that came to my head. A still life is like when you arrange the photo, you place a pumpkin next to another pumpkin next to a something, and then you tilt it so the shadow is just right, and then you take a picture, and it's like a beautiful picture. LinkedIn is like the still life of photography. It's very arranged. It's very, the posts are very premeditated. They're not, it's not natural. I would take a picture of a natural beauty, like a scenery, like a, uh, like a picture of the mountains with the clouds and trees, like a beautiful natural nature photo that's real. And I would look at that picture and I would say, this is beautiful. I might look at a still life and say, that's a beautiful picture, but it's been created. Like the whole set was created for the picture. And so I think LinkedIn is kind of like, it's got that very unnatural, un, un genuine kind of feel to it. It's a lot of, a lot of nothing. Uh, Facebook on the other hand has a lot of bullshit, but at least you know all of that crap is from the heart. And it's a lot of stupid crap from the heart and it's all it's all messed up so i don't know it's probably a terrible analogy i don't know really how to describe with words how a fake business seems to me just the lies the marketing the hype the um, what's a word um the shills if you will no it's not all, not all of that like, i don't want to be like pessimistic but it's very thick. It's hard to get to like 
really good announcements and stuff. And so maybe I just need to clean out my LinkedIn a little bit, clean it up. It might help. Ah, uh, but Gold Queen, I hope you're, you're, oh, why you're off work. I thought you said I'm off to work. And I was going to say, wait a minute, hold on, slow down here. What are you going to do? You're going into work right now. No, no, no. That's not what you said. You said, well, I'm off work. I've scheduled a series of motivational BS quotes uh, just so nobody forgets me. Things like, I love overwork and pleasing my employer. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. No, just rest. Don't worry about LinkedIn and that kind of stuff. Hey, Tellison. How are the keys? The keys are fine. This last key I did, uh, we were like 30 seconds over time. I don't know why. I thought the group was actually doing pretty good, but maybe we weren't pulling fast enough. But um, I have, I did nail a 24 uh, th um, uh, thrown in the tides yesterday. 24. That was good. I didn't think, I thought, I thought uh, there's no way I'm going to go in this 24 and I, there's no way these guys are going to time this. But I went in there, we just like, just cut straight through it, man. So it really depends on whether gamers want a game or not. You know, it's like you got two scenarios here. It's like you either don't have any gamers in the group or maybe you don't, maybe you, you've got some gamers, but they're not feeling like gaming. I think if you want to cut through these keys, you got to have some gamers ready to game because, uh, 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 what's it called? Um, uh, fucking, uh. Bursting. Oof. Bursting is not easy for me this week as a healer. Yeah, forget it. But so far, so good. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I think I have that one still. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it before, before it's not funny anymore. There it is. And you're not going to stop there. There it is. This is a really daily for? reminder. To maybe just do, do it. Uh, subscribe to the Synapse channel. <laughs> just, just do it. Just yes, do it. Yes, you can. I mean, there it is. Just do it. There you go. Um, I still got a couple of those. I got Snoop, Snoople Troll, Snoople Troll for the nailing a thought is quite a thing to state on stream. If you, too, work 24 hours a day, you can also achieve a load of nonsense. Can't disagree. Yeah, a suit, you know, I don't have, I don't own a suit. So suits are, are not required for anything. Unless there's like a dress code or something, but I would like a suit. I really haven't, and you know, and, and I've never owned a suit before because I never had any intention. I never wanted to wear a suit. Uh, no one's ever asked me to wear a suit. Um, in academia, sometimes people wear suits, but not really. There's a kind of a different, a different. What do you call it? Like a formal. Uh, whatever they call it in academia, there's there's no dress code, but there's kind of a way teachers and and doctors and stuff dress. Um, but I at least need a nice, uh, you know, like a nice coat or a nice suit or something. I don't know what my style would be. That's the problem. The, now the problem is because I don't wear a suit. Uh, and I don't think a suit makes me look any smarter or any more professional. I could wear fucking pajamas and be a ceo there's plenty of ceos that are like that so that doesn't really matter i don't think but i lack the taste in a good suits and so when i do want to start wearing suits if ever uh, i'm worried that i haven't really developed my taste yet and so i like to at least think about it a little bit what about you guys you guys wear suits you teach me how to wear a suit or just or just pass on the suits. It is really dumb. It is dumb how everybody looks the same in their suits. But see, when you understand suits, they don't all look the same. You can tell the difference between good suits and bad suits and different styles of suits. But to me, because I don't wear suits, they all fucking look the same. Everybody looks, you know, like business 
suit and tie in a it's like fucking lame. It's like why do you why 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 would you do that? I wore a suit out to go shopping yesterday. Suit and trainers. I looked amazing. An epiphany greater than when I wore jeans and heels together. Oh really? <laughs> so does the suit help you to have epiphanies or or like, am I missing out here? Does this mean I should get get on it? Start with a jacket and jeans. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes. Yes. That sounds like what I need to do. And then a blazer instead of a hoodie. And keep the jeans and t-shirt. And just add jacket. That sounds correct. I think that would ease me right in to my business wardrobe it would seem that would probably work out just fine so good i like it see complicated in my mind it was like oh this is gonna be hard and then gold queen is like nope it's easy simplified we did it i like that Yeah. Egret says, but you're a tech guy, Sai. You have your own industrial standard. That's right. Maybe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And also, like, yeah. Yeah, I I do my own thing. And I designed it that way. I don't think. I think I fit in ev anywhere and nowhere simultaneously because uh, I fit in anywhere because I love being around people. I'm very... Uh, social, I guess, when I want to be. Uh, I respect people and I want to learn from people. So there's so many environments that I think I could flourish in. However, when people start doing dumb shit and then I don't, I too don't want to do the dumb shit and they're like, hey, you should do the dumb shit because everybody else does and I'm like, fuck off. And then there could be a problem. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I'm not as much of a people person as I initially led on uh to believe but i do i have a high standard uh i think for people so i do have a tough time when when you know and and, and and suits like dress code is an example like if we work in a lawyer's office right where everybody's got an expensive suit and then i come in a little more casual it doesn't fit right so that's probably a place i wouldn't really fit in that much because i would be looking at everybody like what the fuck are you guys doing and they'd be looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Cool tailored jacket over heavy metal t-shirt. Yes, please. Cool tailored jacket optional. Heavy metal t-shirt. Absolutely. fucking lutely But you're right. That would. That would match my... You, you, Gold Queen, you're nailing it. Like, you understand my personality i think uh but also that's just good style i think i think that's just good style but i think that would that would work oh and you need a hat uh-huh your shape would be balanced by something on top fucking a fucking a it uh it would and it's funny because um i feel like i'm picturing some of those ai photos uh that I made and shared at some point where uh, some of those, I liked some of them where I had a big hat. I was like, I don't know why I felt like that looked right. So maybe that is what you're saying about the balance or something, a little something on top. All right. Sherlock Holmes going on. I'd do it. You know, I don't give a shit. I'd, I'd rock Sherlock Holmes. I'd say, fuck it. Sherlock Holmes, let's go. I wouldn't give two shits. I'll just rock it. I would do it just to see. I'm game. Doesn't hurt to try. If I hate it, well, then I don't have to do it again. But I might like it. Never know till you try it. Should I do another one? I want to do something easy. I'm going to save those. I'm going to save those last three I need for, like... Later in the day, when, when I'm, when I'm ready to 
go in there and fight fight a couple of points. But in the meantime, let's do this. Or I don't know if that will even work. Or not. I don't know. What else do I got for you guys today? I don't know. That's all. That's all I got. I told the story of the uh, detective. That was the coolest thing that happened. There was something crazy that did happen this week. I'm actually really exhausted. Uh, I was doing some business negotiation this week. I probably really shouldn't talk about it uh, publicly, but uh, I think that's why I'm a little mad at, at LinkedIn and all the fakery and business because I, I negotiated with a guy who is just like super floofy fake business guy take the money you would pay for a suit double it because you know you'd buy a backup too now instead of buying two suits buy one single really beautiful jacket and wear instead of a hoodie professor signups so get the nice uh the nice jacket i think that's the professors do that right and isn't there some professors like aren't there like professors that are known to like always kind of wear the same jacket with the same elbow patches for like 20 plus 200 years you know and they're just like that's like their style always and it's like known for that you know stories of the guy with the same jacket forever get yeah, one hell of a jacket Geography teacher patches, <laughs> right? Fuck <laughs> it. It's branding. It's your brand. It's got to make it convincing. I'm expecting you to do the meme and send it to the next person. But no, those are actually really good. I got to remember that shit. You might have to remind me, Gold Queen, but because I'm going to be like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. Wait. Oh shit, what was that thing I was going to do? I might have to like take some notes on those. Uh... Now I'm not going out shopping, but I do remember Gold Queen has an eye for these things and has uh, has thought about this. And didn't you even create an app uh, related to this at some point? So it's all kind of making sense. And uh, and I do, I can totally see what you're saying. And I, I think it's, I think you nailed it. I just need to go and do it, I think. But first things first, I just need I just need a haircut. You know why? Because that's functional. Because when I'm building computers, I'm doing like computer stuff, I can't see. Does that happen to girls or is it just me? I swear in all the years that I've had long hair, it hasn't been enough years because I'm still completely disabled by long hair. And then I know you tie it up. But right now it's kind of in a weird length where I think I can tie it up but it's just coming below the eyes so it's not like super tie upable and then uh then I can't see anything and then I get mad and I'm like fuck I can't see anything shit but right now as long as I like right now I can see fine but once I like bend over and I start doing computer stuff then it's like I'm all fucked up Sin apps? What is sin apps, Egreth? You mean like apps? Like you want me to make apps? I do make one app. I made a Windows app. I actually have a Windows app that people use that I sell. It doesn't really even do much, but it connects to your OBS and lets you remote control your OBS. Walk into a hairdresser in a lovely jacket, and they will be all oh, yes, sir, Mr. Signups. Best haircut immediately. Ah, uh, so I need I need to uh I need to be looking good to get the right treatment in public. You're probably right. I think right now the way it is, they see me and they'll be like, who is this fucking guy that doesn't ever cut his hair? Like 
probably think I'm just looks like some homeless guy uh, in there. But but you know when I'm in public, I don't walk around demanding respect and stuff like that. When I'm in public, I'm just like I'm just like oh crap, I'm in public. <laughs> That's what I was like, I'd just rather blend in. I'm not even looking for any special attention whatsoever when I'm in public. I'm in public, I'm in public because I'm going to do something. I'm not hanging out. But it's all branding. You're right, you're right. And people will treat you. You're absolutely right. People do treat you differently depending on how you look. Uh, I think sometimes it can be wildly different. Uh depending on how you look, but I don't think I really go to any places where where that matters too much lately. I'm like in total dad mode all the time. But you know, uh, when you go to like, okay, let's say you're going to like uh, NAB, for example, a lot of people are headed to NAB uh, pretty soon. I don't even know what the dates is, but it should be coming up really soon. You know, that's uh, at least the people in, in my industry or related industries are going to that big conference in Las Vegas. And so let's say you're at a conference, then the way you look is going to be important. You know, you do want to make an impression uh, on people if you're networking and stuff like that. So w when I go to conferences, I definitely do clean up uh, pretty good. But uh, I'm not going to any conferences. I'm chilling out. I'm chilling I'm not going to fucking NAB either. I didn't get invited. The only way I'm going to NAB is if I get uh, invited to go or to do a talk. So I didn't uh, plan ahead to do any talk, so I'm definitely not going. And nobody invited me. How dare they? Ask a person that knights his furniture. Egrath, I do. You know what? The last time I knighted my furniture, I was drinking Jameson. And guess what I have down here in my computer desk? I have a Jameson. I have not had one of these for a long time. And uh, it was this thing, if I remember correctly, that was responsible for some, if not all of the shenanigans that have taken place on my stream. So let me pour a little bit in here. We'll just have just a little bit there. Since it is coming up, it's getting a little bit late. So we have a little nightcap there. You like Jameson? What Jameson is good Irish whiskey, I would say. I would say it's not bad. Smooth Irish whiskey. Made the John Jameson way since 1780. 1780, you say? Product of Ireland. Mm-hmm. Well. I suppose that Jameson won't last very long. But you know what? I have made some mistakes with Jameson. Not bad mistakes, just fun mistakes. The mistake was... Somehow, and this never happens to me, but that one time when we had the furniture incident... I wasn't keeping track of how much Jameson had been consumed because we were having fun. Like everybody was, I don't know what it was. Everybody wanted to do cheers. There was lots of cheers. Everybody was wanted to do more cheers. And I thought, oh, we're doing fine. You know, we haven't drank too much. You know, uh, we try to drink a little, probably a little bit too much. I'm going to start slowing down. And I look at the bottle and it's almost empty. I'm like, whoops. I didn't mean for that to happen. I learned a little lesson after that one. That was scary. But I don't think I got sick or anything. I didn't do anything dumb except for, well, it's relative what you consider dumb, but no, ugh, fuck. I was about to say nobody was hurt and no property was damaged, but Nobody was hurt, but property was damaged. So maybe it was worse than I thought. But it was just my chair. I just poked a hole in the chair. I still have that sword. It's funny. Yeah, I think Jameson. I think Jameson is... Uh, I think that's pretty world famous. I think everybody's got Jameson. 
transient it says hair's looking good oh well thank you i was we were just actually talking about that i was i was uh, saying that i think i need a haircut but i do like long hair i actually love long hair it's just that it drives me crazy uh when it gets too long i wish it didn't drive me crazy because then I would just wear it long all the time. I know a lot of people that just always have long hair and it looks super cool. Oh, I I know it's not the best about long hair. It takes a lot more shampoo and conditioner. I notice it takes like a lot more. It's like it's pumping on the shampoo. It's like, you know, get a big old glob of shampoo and it's like, but here's the thing when you have short hair you almost you need almost like a bit like a bottle of shampoo will last me forever it seems like when you have super short hair so that's one thing that's not even that big of a thing but it's a thing you know he he was planned wait wait what uh biggest mistake i made under whiskey is my 25 year old son <laughs> what <laughs> He was planned. Oh no. Oh uh, yep, yep. That's uh, yeah. That's why we, you know, my golden rule is: if you're going to drink, don't drink the whole thing at once. So I really broke my golden rule that one time with Jam Jameson because I pretty much almost drank the whole thing and. I always tell people not to do that. All you have to do is just don't do that and you should be fine. You know, have some drinks, enjoy. Don't drink the whole thing. Same thing goes for drugs too. If you have a sack of magic mushrooms, don't eat them all, you know, all at once. Um, just like little golden rules that you can use to improve the quality of your life. And you might be thinking to yourself, what? Who would eat a whole bag of mushrooms? People do that all the time. All the time they eat the whole bag. Just don't eat the whole thing. You'll be fine. One of these days just happened to be that day. Yeah, and I don't even remember how the whole knighting the chair thing came about. I think there was too many knighting ceremonies, and yeah. Oh, the knighting ceremonies. That's something we have not done in forever. Fuck, the knighting ceremonies, dude. I think I have that. My whole uh, LAN is now 10 gigabit. That's pretty cool. That's something that I did not have back in the nighting days. One gigabit networking drove me mad back then. And now that's been solved. Everything is 10 gig now. And the two and the, the kids computers are 2.5 gigabit. I didn't put the 10 gig uh, uh, things in there, but I had a bunch of 2.5 gigs. And you know what, if you guys, I know this is like changing the subject, but just so you know, um, two point, you can buy these really cheap Chinese switches that are like 10 gig and 2.5 gig. So it is, it's like a land session over here. The kids, you know, they're a little bit spoiled that way, but it's also because when I was streaming and editing, um, I was uh getting more computer gear because it was hard to keep up it was hard to i was trying to increase productivity you know because uh streaming and videos were doing well so i was kind of you know investing in the parts for that and so now the result is the kids have some nice computers so they get a little LAN. they get some LAN parties over here some pretty nice networks and i'm a geek too i like the networking i think it's fun but that one back there has that one's got 2.5 built into the motherboard. Mine has 10. And I've got a 10, a switch that has 10, 2.5, and then just one. And then that goes to like a 10 gigabit 
a uh, micro tick little backbone it's like in the garage that one's all 10 sfp plus and uh yeah, that's nerd stuff but that's probably one of my favorite things as like a little hobby is just uh knowing that every the network is very nice over here What about you guys? You guys even... How much time do you take per week thinking about your home networking? <laughs> Anyone? I'm the only one. Oof. Let me see if there's a bonus for these random dungeons yet. No bonuses. Boo. Boo. I probably sit for a 30 minutes to one hours per week. Wait, sit. Thinking about networking? Oh, thinking about home networking, so you do. You do, do you? And then Gopher says, I usually think about it when one of my servers is slow to wake up. Ah, so uh, that's true. And you have servers, Golden What kind of servers do you have? That's fun i'm always telling people have a server but some people you can't convince them to have a server but i think servers are so useful i had a uh, minor temper tantrum because i refused to chat to my tv i uh i all there also there's very few things that really genuinely piss me the fuck off and computer problems is one of those so i can relate I can really, if I have a computer problem, like the world stops spinning until I get that shit figured out because everything I do is computers. So it's like, there's a computer problem. It's like, I could turn from a, from a, an adult into a baby like that. If you fuck with the computer or the internet somehow. Oh, the storage servers. Yeah, it's good. Suspicious of cloud. Good. That's healthy. Those are healthy suspicions. Yes, I understand. Uh, as computers, most issues are a constant. Yeah. You know what? I don't know. I, I, I want to challenge that a little bit because you know what? I really don't have too many computer problems. I really, I really don't. Um, I feel like I have less computer problems than most people have for some reason. Or, or maybe I just like don't notice because I fix the problems or something i don't know ah uh, i did have one problem with it my son did have a problem with a computer shut off yesterday i think and then he couldn't get it to turn back on and i had to turn the power off i did turn the power supply off and then back on before it turned on uh i've had that happen before but i didn't get bent out of shape because i just turned it off and then turned it back on and then it turned on remember unplug it and plug it back in again before you lose your shit. <laughs> it's true, you know, turn it off and turn it back on again. But actually unplug it, plug it back in. And uh, you can actually save some, some of your hair, you know, from falling out. Yeah, and storage servers can be rough, too, because uh, for storage servers, I do the... Uh, oh, by the way, speaking of storage servers, if you want to see some fucked up stuff, watch Linus Tech Tips' newest video where it's he gets these servers sponsored by Supermicro, and he makes them into storage servers, but it's like 100 terabytes of these super fast, expensive NVMEs in two servers. No... Well, yeah, it's two servers, but each server had four servers in it. So it was like those little, those servers that have like the micro blade things, it's like a two U rack and then the little, and then it's like a half, half one U slides in and there's four of them. And he had two of those. So it was eight servers. And there was like this newest AMD, uh, uh, uh um, epics in there, which those have to cost five or 10 grand a piece minimum. I think it was like a hundred grand, probably like a 50 to a hundred grand server that he 
built just talking about service. It wasn't that great of a video. I just want one of those. I would love to have one of those or like 10 or however many. I would never pay that much for a server, but I would certainly accept one sponsored by Super Micro. It'd be fine. I'd play with it. I have a dark server that holds videos and a white one that has MP3s and raw footage for gold guides. Oh, that is awesome. And a couple of switches. That is the way. Yep. Watching movies. I do. I have the, uh, the media server. So my server is, uh, it's, I like distributed file systems. I really came to get attached to moose FS. But Moose FS has to be one of the most unpopular uh, uh, file systems, in, just in terms of its popularity. But I love it. I, f I have so much fine green. I understand it. And you know what? I've never lost a file using it. And it's not terribly slow, but it, it is actually kind of slow. It needs a lot of power to be fast. Uh, it's kind of limited by the power you feed it. Um, but people just don't talk about that file system. But anyway, what I do is I take these kind of old servers some of them are new pack them full of the biggest drives i have and i don't spend a ton of money on drives but i'll go and i'll look if i'm in the market for drives i probably have like 100 terabytes of drives and when i purchased the drives i was going for the best deal on gigabyte per dollar so i think i ended up getting like a bunch of like 12 terabyte drives you know, if you look depending on when you look in the market at at spinning disk drives or, or NVMEs, or SSDs or whatever. Um, there's always kind of this place where a certain size of drive would be more, uh, have a better value. The bigger drives get really expensive because they're so big. The smaller drives, uh, for whatever reason, they're just, you know, they don't have a good uh, price per storage ratio. There's always a sweet spot. So I think I filled it up with a bunch of like 10 and 12 terabyte drives uh, and had multiple servers, put the Moose FS on that. And the Moose FS is on top of ZFS. And I don't use TrueNAS. I go old school. Uh, I just go command line ZFS and uh, built some little raids um, with that. And that's my files thing. And it works really good. Yo, Herbert, what's up? Herbert. Herbert Hammer. Herbert Hammer, hi. You get the old surveillance HDD? Because they're boring and reliable. That sounds that sounds correct. Synology keeps trying to hook me up with the internet. So you can watch from anywhere, but I already watched through the house. Why would I want to watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the cloud. I, I'm the same about the cloud stuff. I don't, I'm, I'm cloudless. It's funny too, because I provide cloud services, but for personal stuff like smart home, there's no cloud. All the smart home is all internal. The servers are internal. The webcams, everything is internal because there's a lot of things I believe don't, they're private. It's like your private house stuff stays in the home and it's not shared with, providers and then not to mention you know there are costs there are like monthly reoccurring costs and stuff to maintaining a whole bunch of cloud shit um i try to minimize i you know have subs and stuff but yeah yeah we minimize hope you're doing good yeah good really really good we're doing good here everything is good we're i'm here you're here i'm live whenever i'm live things are things are good uh Dude K from Denmark. How much you pay for fiber? I did. I got fiber. Oh, yeah, because it's in my title. Uh, you pay $36 for one over one. Well, you're lucky. Um, I got fiber, but I think it's probably like $80 to $100 for the one over one. Uh, so there, there's, there are places in the U.S. where fiber is like 30 or 40 bucks, but there's not very many places Denmark, I think, is good. I think there's in the EU, uh, many 
uh, I think countries in that region have had cheap fiber for much longer than the U S you know, the U S is very far behind on that. And where I live is even far farther behind for sure. So I'm happy that I can get one over one, to be honest. I used to pay two or 300 bucks for 300 over 30 cable, which is not fiber. So I've had it kind of tough. I can't complain too much because um, there's people that don't that live in places that don't have internet or don't have access or resources to get internet. So I'm not going to be an asshole and be like, oh, fuck, my internet's expensive and slow. Uh, I don't want to be an asshole. But compared to places like Denmark and compared to a lot of places uh, in the world, my, my internet was very slow and very expensive and and not up to par in many ways. But uh yeah, Egreth, you pay 70 for a hundred megabits. So so it's it's there are problems and um it is bad. I was lucky that Comcast came into my neighborhood and they just they just re re uh, they just uh, overhauled the entire neighborhood. They dumped hundreds of millions of dollars into this part of the town. I think it's maybe expanding part of the town. Um, there was a market for it. And they came in fast and hard. I mean, they just tore up all of the sidewalks. Uh, they put them back, of course, but it didn't take very much time for them to lay a lot of fiber and it was the newest fiber. So we kind of got lucky that we got new fiber uh, all figured out right here where I'm at. And so now when the new, the next products come out, like two gigabit, five gigabit, 10 gigabit, it's ready for that. And so I would be able to opt into some of those higher products if I wanted to. But Canute was here earlier. You guys know Canute. Um, he stopped by to say hi. And uh, he, we had this discussion uh, because even Linus, I brought up that Linus's video where he says, your internet's too fast. And what Linus was saying, I don't agree with him 100%, but he actually had a really good point. He said, most of the stuff we do doesn't even require one gig. Uh, watching a movie doesn't require. In fact, um, everyone in my house could be watching Netflix or Hulu or YouTube and or twitch and it's not going to saturate your bandwidth even steam uh you might get steam to saturate your your bandwidth a little bit but you need a fast computer uh is what linus was saying that they try to saturate 10 gigs with steam even on lan cache so downloading steam locally from your lan they still had a hard time saturating a 10 gig network uh, so you might get a one gig, but you know, you might only get like 300 or 500 megabit. So he had a good point. He was like, it's actually, you're fine. What's most important for me with the fiber is the low latency. We like low ping, like here in the game. What does it say? My ping is 30 seconds world, 37 milliseconds world. Some of you guys have, may have better ping times to world of Warcraft than 37 some of you might have like two milliseconds or 10 milliseconds if you live next to Blizzard data centers. But um, 37 is a vast improvement for me. And that's what I want. I, I need the low latency stuff. Uh, and I need the stability as well. I think that's the most important thing. Not so much volume. Ping is king. That's right. Here in Croatia from deleted user says we finally got fiber before like two or three years currently paying 21 for a thousand over 500 that's good right that's good 21 that's a good bandwidth that's good fiber at a very low price right so yeah there's no there's nothing in the u.s that i know of that exists for that price uh and that speed you know it's much more expensive and sometimes slower. So I think that's good. Germany 
really is the copper nation internet here is really ass <laughs> really in germany because germany has um germany has some of the best data centers though i think there are some core networking going through germany that's runs the entire uh fucking europe going through germany i think uh because i know my servers when i do the streaming servers um germany frankfurt uh is has some of the best ping times for the entire region even spain uh, uh italy you know i think a lot of those countries are connecting through germany in fact uh to to the cloud so that surprises me. I believe it 100%. Because just because you have fiber going through the country, it doesn't mean that it's going to the residential areas where people live and stuff. Uh, that was the same where I live. In my state, we had some huge fiber pipes because of government labs, uh, academic institutions had this beautiful fiber uh, uh, access but it wasn't going out to the neighborhoods. It was kind of like a private government academic shit. We couldn't use it. Yes, Canute, uh, the Norwegian, uh, yeah, he's a uh, bodybuilder. Yeah, and he's a really nice guy. And he also likes, he also has some nice internet, nice computers. He also likes, uh, he likes a high quality streaming. That's why I like, talking with Canute because he really has an eye for you know the best quality streams and his streams are pretty good his streams are well not pretty good they're really good uh whenever he does like conferences and stuff his streams always have the most highest view count and stuff so uh even if Canute doesn't have the highest view count on a day-to-day -day basis everyone knows him and when he does like conferences and stuff he always has like the highest view count uh, Europe is connected to North America via 17 cables, dude K. The majority of transatlantic cables land in the UK and France, but Denmark, Norway, Ireland, and Spain also have landings. That's right, right, because you can, um, you can, uh, what's the website called where you can actually look at all of the under the transatlantic, uh, fiber and all the underwater fiber. Um, if you haven't seen that website, that website's super cool. And you can see where they come in. And I do design my my infrastructure, you know, for public uh, network infrastructure between North America and uh, and uh, the UK. I will come in there, and usually, what I'll do is I'll come in from like New York to London, or New York to Amsterdam. Uh, but I found that you know most of those connections are pretty good. That I don't have to relay in london or amsterdam i can basically cross anywhere and it seems to get in uh pretty good i can even go straight from new york to frankfurt and it'll route you know uh reasonably and that's just for like streaming purposes you know streaming data rates uh but yeah, it used to be like new york to amsterdam was like the magic link or sometimes london as well but not always uh, but now it's like, it's gotten so much better. Frankfurt is big in connectivity because there's German Wall Street. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So there's definitely something going on there because Frankfurt is definitely pretty lit when it comes to connectivity. But private connection really sucks. I paid 50 euros for 250 over 100. Is it like, um, and I usually get around 150 over 50. Right. So I've been there. I've been there. So... I hope that you get better connectivity, but is it like cable, uh, like old cable internet? Maybe they'll upgrade because that's, that was happening to me. And then we begged and begged, uh, and it took like the mayor and some politics to get some of the companies to budge and start installing more infrastructure. So I think it, it's very like political and in nature uh, and how the companies invest, what the state 
the government is uh, pushing. You know, maybe you can push for some more uh, some more connectivity there. We have had certain submarines sniffing around our internet cables. One of the things I uh, wait, see, our cables come out to the Atlantic at Bood in North Devon. So I don't think I know. I don't think I know those places, but it, I feel like that region is kind of compact in a way where its connectivity is probably really good there, but I don't know. The Chaos Computer Club is in Berlin. Is that because of universities? Probably. Yeah, probably where you have like a higher density of universities, you're going to have some more creative students in the region. I would wager. Yep. I think the biggest data center though is Amsterdam because that's where I saw, you know, a lot of the GPU servers and a lot of the network resources early on. Like right now, everything's blowing up. I think things are changing very rapidly, but early on, everything seemed to go through um, uh, Amsterdam. That was the easy access, the easy way to get on the cloud in the data center. And so whatever they did there to encourage this burst of growth, yeah, I think they became kind of like that leader in that region, it would seem. In Amsterdam, yeah. Amsterdam was where a lot of, when I started building infrastructure and stuff, Amsterdam was, every like major company had Amsterdam as a location. And that's where we saw some like the first big GPU data centers uh, springing up there. The Dutch are awesome traders, traditionally diamonds. So you haven't heard that. Okay, so so from from where you stand, where do you see, you know, some of the biggest uh, or think about who's like the biggest locations? But I don't know where. Um, I, I know AWS has... Um, London, I think London is probably the hot spot for AWS, it seems like. But yeah, that one and the Dutch. Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know the history. I would like to know the history. But yeah, if you ask the Dutch, they'll tell you, oh, yeah, fucking data centers everywhere. Internet's everywhere falling out of the sky. So uh, that's cool. Probably the government uh, probably really boosted said hey let's invest in network infrastructure right some other governments kind of going slow maybe the netherlands were going fast i don't know marcus was setting up web fusion in the 90s we had a lovely walk around canary wharf My singular friend who became a web hosting millionaire. The rest of us didn't get lucky. Oh, no. Right. right. I would like to get lucky. That sounds fun. I don't know what I would invest in if I got very lucky at any point. What would I invest in? I haven't really thought about it. I need to get lucky first, then then I'll know. He turned his fifth bedroom into a walk-in rack system. I would like to do that. Uh, now, that I know I would do. Uh, 
I would definitely like to have some strategically placed racks. I would get a jacket. Correct. That is correct. Some racks and jackets. Because I like, I like to test things. I need the racks because I have ideas that require hardware sometimes. We would definitely need to get the racks going. Racket jacket. Egress says the day signups wins the Euro jackpot. Can you imagine the I house? Yes. That was part of the plan, Egress. That is right. That I I would like to um, uh, carry out uh, some of those crazy ideas that the chat that you and everybody has helped me generate you know generate some crazy fucking ideas uh in here and so carrying out some of those plans would be appropriate i would think there would there would be sushi and tacos i think we had the idea of the taco gaming house one time where there would be uh always uh tacos and sushi raining from the ceilings as you enter this gaming mansion it would it would be the we and it was a long name too it was like the taco gaming house data center something you know there would be racks there as well and then we would you know we would play lots of games and do videos and have fun alexa make the bed lull and if i got really really lucky then i would have a personal alexa that wouldn't be alexa but would actually be alexa and it would make my bed or is that too much it's okay to dream we can just dream synapsa Yes, pinch me so that I wake up from these dreams. Can't go out to dinner, darling. Yep. Well, my hope is that, you know, if you had the mansion and you had, you know, you had people visiting the mansion and stuff, that the mansion would, you know, be well kept as well. It would be hard to maintain a mansion, I think. It'd be rather expensive. But uh, maybe if the expense wasn't such a big deal, uh, you know, having people there, you know, to keep it up and stuff would be pretty excellent. I think that would be great. Then, then in theory, we should have more time to do all the things that maybe we don't have time to do nowadays and then we also had the problem of where would the mansion be where would we put it i don't know i don't know where it would go I mean, if you were ambitious enough perhaps you would have a mansion in every location <laughs> you'd have multiple mansions malta amsterdam of course i've never been to amsterdam so I'm not going to commit to uh, the uh, gaming mansion being in Amsterdam, but I would like to go there. And it does seem like a fine place to put it. I don't have any reason why not to put it there. Uh, apparently, I have a castle that's named after me somewhere in the, the Czech Republic somewhere. Uh, I don't know if that's too far east, but... Um, Apparently there is a mansion from my great relative ancestor family or something. Uh, so there's always kind of been the idea that I might go reclaim my throne uh, at some point. If there's any throne to reclaim there, but now that could be it. Could be a castle. Wouldn't that be fucked up? Do castles have like 100 gigabit networking? I can, if it were my castle, then I could certainly install 100 gigabit 
fiber in my own castle, right? I would think so. Oh, you found the website, I think, regarding underwater cables? Submarine cable map. I think that's the one. From Denmark is called uh, Half Fru or Mermaid in English. Oh, that's cool. Mermaid. Holy shit. The Gold Castle will. <laughs> Good. Well, then, okay, then it's, it's decided then. The castles, it sounds like you will have a castle as well, uh, sh shall be uh, outfitted with 100 gigabit networking. And I don't think there's any reason why not. But uh, I was thinking about the underwater cable. So uh, apparently fiber, because it's not copper, that makes it resilient from electromagnetic interference. And that's one of the major advantages of fiber, of the way fiber works. Um, that resilience makes it uh, cheaper, maybe, because it doesn't have to be shielded uh, in, in a certain way. And uh, that means you could probably run it in more places. You don't have to watch out how you run the fiber as much as you do like cable wire. And um, being resilient to electromagnetic issues means, you know, more consistent performance and stuff. Uh, and resilience to stuff like solar flares and other destructive electromagnetic events so but the problem with the underwater fiber apparently is you need repeaters to repeat the signal because you know the signal can only go so far and the ocean is goes very far um and but those are not resilient to electromagnetic disruption so i wonder how hard it is or what people have to do to maintain fiber repeaters so far beneath the sea. I mean, would they just use special submarines and just like swim down there and patch it up? It must be a nightmare. I would think it would be kind of a nightmare to maintain those. My castle is metaverse. It only lives in people's minds. I'm rebranding Happy Place. Oh, Happy Place. I, I know Happy Place. Every time you think you're in a happy place, you're in my gold castle. Nice. Singularity Castle. Well, it, this is shaping up to be quite a castle. It sounds like uh, egress is most likely quite a nightmare. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what's amazing about the underwater fiber is you can just use it. It's like... It's like... Uh, obviously not free but it's almost like free if you think about it because i can set up just about on any provider i can set up network nodes you know whether it's aws or google or i don't know digital ocean or x y and z you can just list them they go on and on and on you can set up a node in new york and in london amsterdam frankfurt uh madrid Paris, you know, just what, whatever, you know, major city and data center location. And you can just send data. Now, of course, you have to pay for these nodes. And, you know, sometimes there is network costs associated with them. And sometimes not, you know, network, it's, can, it's variable. But if you think about how expensive it must be to lay those fiber uh, lines and just the sheer volume of data that travels through those those uh lines and then on top of that the upkeep and maintenance of of working so deep uh underwater to maintain these things you would think it would be more expensive don't you think i think so i can send a stream like right now i can send and i've always been able to do this even when i had shitty internet i could still always send a fucking stream even rtmp from north america from where i am sitting right now to uh, any of those European nodes. And it just works. I can just stream. It's fine. I don't have to pay any extra for that. 
just works. So it's kind of wild. You would think that like those those data channels would be like congested, don't you think? Like you would think that if like like torrents, you know, like everybody's like grabbing from everywhere in the internet and generating a tremendous amount of internet traffic. And it's so cheap to do that. It's so accessible. It's kind of wild if you think about it. Thoughts about Elon trying to set up his own network? Oh, really? Is he doing that? Like, what's Elon doing? I mean, I, we, we know there's Starlink. I mean, that's a, he set up his own network in fucking space. I mean, that's pretty remarkable, I would say. But is he also trying to, like, lay fiber or something? I would probably do something like that if I was Elon Musk. I would do some nerdy shit. I'm not going to have cable cables. Mine will be fungal networks. Oh, you're going to tap into the mycelial networks? Like ancient forests all leading to a happy place at the top of the world tree. Mysterious hand gestures. <laughs> oh, that's trippy. Literally trippy. If what, if what they say is true about the fungal networks and all of the interconnections, could exchanging data with trees and nature and so forth, then uh, it may not be so crazy. It's pretty abstract, but maybe it's only abstract because our minds have trouble at uh, understanding and abstracting it. I'm not going to knock the idea because fucking A, if you see, that's weird stuff. Go watch the 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 fungus uh documentaries on netflix and it'll, it'll trip you out you don't even have to eat the mushrooms you'll feel like you ate the mushrooms after you watch those shows the mushroom people are very trippy and if what they say is true which it appears to be true uh scientifically then there's like a whole story untold story of the of a of a you know uh fungal interactions underground the fungal networks are farming us for nutrients. Did you play Warlords of Drainer? Uh, I'll be I, I believe it. I mean, I think the trees are trying to kill us. Maybe it's actually the, the fungus. Um, but I am convinced that the trees are trying to kill me, at least. Um, when I open my door and I see those beautiful flowers outside, because, uh, you know, we're coming into springtime, and I see all those flowers. The trees look amazing. The trees are basically spooging all over the place because they're fucking, you know, literally they're mating and they're sending pollen everywhere. And because it's dry where I live, there's these high concentrations of pollen floating in the air and I get these allergies and I can feel, literally feel my lungs and throat irritated, inflamed. And I'm thinking to myself, fucking trees while these trees are out there fucking and enjoying themselves i'm over here needing to take like a antihistamine or something because i have these allergies or is it that is it just is it just uh normal mating or are the trees trying to kill us slowly but surely i think the latter I don't think they're having any trouble mating. I think all the extra mating is actually a maneuver to kill humans. Makes sense if you think about it. It's either us or them. Have you ever watched The Happening? I think so. That sounds really familiar. The Happening. What is that? Yeah, refresh. Refresh my my memory. Murder pollen. Take my seed and die. Oof. Oof. It's gross thinking about it. Targeted splash zone. It is. It is. It's like a whole... And if you look at, like, pollen maps, you know, because allergies are a thing. Eh? 
everybody suffers from allergies one allergy or another some people don't really get bothered by pollen other people are in really really sensitive to pollen i mean some people it's like their nose explodes in their eyes and their mouth they literally have to take drugs i'm not that bad but i do it, at some point have to take some antihistamine like zyrtec um during the times where it's at really high conscious rates because i can like feel the symptoms um but um it's a it's it basically covers the entire region from florida to uh all along the south to the southwest to california all the way across the entire north america uh in the in the u.s i'm sure it's the same uh in other parts of the world i don't know i i don't think the pollen maps i think it's just the u.s pollen maps i can see i don't think it shows me what the pollen is like in other places i assume it's the same thing and then as the season goes on you'll see like these concentrations of pollens and tree stuff like kind of move northward so there'll be a point where actually up in canada you have all of these high concentrations of pollen and it's not as bad uh in the south and it just kind of fluctuates as all the trees mate and stuff. It's pretty gross. <laughs> You're not sensitive to pollen, so you don't care if the trees mate on you. <laughs> I wish I could care less, but unfortunately, and it really depends too on like the climate. So, uh, and different stuff happens. Like if you're in a very humid client, uh, climate, then people have problems with mold. And mold might be what irritates, you know, stuff gets moldy. Uh, but where I live, it's very dry and the dew point is very low. There's not a lot of humidity in the air. Uh, that, those dry conditions lead to just, I guess, a lot of like aerosolized partic small particles in the air. Uh, they just... They don't want to stick to the ground. They just float up, I guess. Yeah, don't let the trees find out that you like... You like being made of them because they will probably... Uh, probably take advantage of that, possibly. I don't want the trees to get any ideas over here. They need a cease and desist. <laughs> I would cut down the trees, uh, but I can't, I won't because during the hot times of the summer, they provide shade and they cool the house a little bit. So I, I, I'm this close. I'm this close to fighting back, but I won't do it. And they know I won't do it. So they just spooge more. see if i can get any bonuses over here yet i think that's gonna be it for the games tonight maybe freakazoid did have a good idea though he said how come you haven't played battlefield i've actually been thinking about playing Battlefield. i have not played battlefield yet on this new computer uh battlefield is known and always has been known to support high resolution monitors and extended color spaces and hdr and all kinds of stuff and it always has since the very beginning. So for those early adopters of like really high performance gaming monitors and HDR monitors, Battlefield is like the first game you install for that stuff. And that was years ago. So now I'm barely catching up with, with these HDR monitors and stuff. And so really the first game I should be playing is, is Battlefield. But WoW looks beautiful on this monitor, so I'm good. Druid infestation, is that what it is? There is there is definitely something afoot, I would say. There's it's very suspicious. All of these fungal networks, trees trying to kill us, excessive mating that that uh, that migrates throughout the season. I uh, I'm pretty suspicious. I think the trees are are joining forces 
we cut too many trees down. We did too much pollution, and now the trees are like, are, uh, I think they're gonna, they're fighting back. This is how it starts. <laughs> no one believes me when I say my tree conspiracy theory, nor should anyone believe me. It's a plot. So it's, it's a bigger plot to overtake us. And many will just say that it's it's just normal nature, but but yeah. Oh, Netflix reliable. Well, you know, I do think that. You should check out uh, the Netflix one. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I, I'm not going to remember the guy's name, but there there is like these certain individuals that are very well known in, uh, in research um, for fungus. And so there's these big names. And those Netflix, I noticed that the ones I watched, they do talk about the history of our understanding with mushrooms. They talk about psilocybin and they talk about, you know, the fun parts of, you know, mushrooms that, uh, stories that we know. And then there's a lot of consistencies between them. Like some of the names are very common. So I would think that, yes, uh, some of those documentaries would be a good place to start to get to hear some of those names and, and, and recall some of that history. But as far as like, uh, what the experts are going to for their, their, uh, you know, their research materials and stuff that I can't really say too much, but it is entertaining. So I do think it's, um, I do think it's worth. And if I do go back into my Netflix and I'm able to, if it kind of saves my past viewing history or whatever, and I see what some of those are called, I will definitely forward those to you. But uh, I don't. I don't think it's a killer. Paul Stamets. That's the guy. Is that the guy? That sounds like the guy. That sounds like the guy. Because wasn't Stamets also one of the characters in uh, the Star Trek? Um, one of the newer Star Treks where they did the. They had the guy Stamets that did the mycelial networks. Yeah, that's the guy, Paul Stamets. Because I just googled it. There's your mushroom guy. And he is a trippy fucker. And he, um, he, I don't know how he came to be, but he is like the leading expert and he leads these expeditions out to look and talk about, uh, to look for mushrooms and talk about mushrooms. And, uh, if, and, and I do like to make fun of the mushroom people a little bit. I call them the mushroom people because there is like a, an entire, um, like, like community of mushroom enthusiasts and they just like, just go out and look for mushrooms and then they eat them and then they bring them back and they talk about them and they have a big collections of mushrooms. <laughs> and it's just like, and the, well, the funny part is they all, they have like a kind of a interesting personality. They're different. It's a very different community uh uh and there's nothing wrong with them. i'm really not trying to be rude or make fun of them or like single them out or anything it's just very notable there's something remarkable about that particular uh community that's uh that's odd i think they might have eaten too many it, it makes you think did they eat too many of those mushrooms that they've been that they've been collecting i think clearly yes i think clearly yes yes indeed uh that sounds like a, a a familiar name as well, but yeah, the Stamets, right? And Discovery. Did you watch Discovery? I watched it. It wasn't bad. I liked Discovery. I thought that was a good one. I don't like all of the. I sometimes disagree with, with what some people think are the best Star Trek, uh, uh, series. But uh, like, I didn't like 
was it i think it was void was a voyager i didn't like but discovery was it's good i actually like the the first season tripped me the fuck out uh got me watching that that one and then the other seasons were also good but maybe not as good But I've always been a Trekkie, but I don't know if I'm as much of a Trekkie as I used to be. I definitely used to be when I was younger. Uh, but I have been keeping up with the new... Discovery was good. Like, fuck, if they make more seasons, I'll watch them. I enjoyed it. Yeah, the dude that played uh, Paul Stamets. And they plugged him into the ship. And they went through them. <laughs> My Celia, that was kind of silly. Now that I think about it, it's like kind of super dumb. Like my Celia networks in space, but it was still a cool show. Liked it. Strange new worlds. Oh, you didn't like Picard? See, yeah, yeah. So this is one of the points where I kind of diverge with the rest of the community. I did like Picard. It was hard. Picard was hard because uh, um, Patrick Stewart was uh, kind of just very old. Uh, well, I mean, he is old, but I've seen him recently with more energy than he had in in Picard. But I still did like the show. Like, I felt like it had the essence of the next generation. But the guys are old. And it had, uh, you know, it had Data and Riker and everybody was old. But um, uh, I didn't. I would watch another season of it. Like, I did. I liked it. I liked it. Was it the best? No, it wasn't. I think one of the problems with Picard was, too, that if you liked uh, the next generation, if you liked that series and you know you were a star trek fan and a trekkie during those shows and you really enjoyed them maybe that set up the expectations very high because that was kind of a you know a really good you know series and i think all the people that like star trek really respect and admire and remember the uh, next generation i certainly did i grew up with that and and then coming back to picard and maybe expecting the same gusto uh, from that show would ultimately lead to disappointment. So that's kind of why I think that people didn't like it that much. And was it like the best show in the world? No, there's like, like fucking, I don't know, like Halo might have been a better show than Picard for a lot of people. But um, uh, I still kind of, I, I got the nostalgia. Like I thought it was there. I thought it was all right. I'd watch another season of it. I don't think it was like amazing. But Patrick Stewart too. That guy just by himself is pretty amazing, but he did have some low. It was, it was, uh, I think maybe he wasn't doing too well when they were shooting that. Cause I've seen him with more energy at later points of, in time. That's the one with the American daddy. Picard was for keeping Gen X quiet. Discovery SNW is for new gen which is even better. I know exactly what you mean. Uh, dated, dated a guy in 2012. Tried him again in 2021. Big disappointment. <laughs> really? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so it, it was good in 2012, but the expectations, high expectations from the past led to disappointment in the future. That's fascinating. Oh, you're just joking oh i thought you were serious that's funny that's funny those are the dates that is actually kind of funny though uh because that happens right that's exactly what can happen if you don't watch out the expectations are primed in a certain way where and i think that was true for the matrix too where where you know we experience the the matrix trilogy or whatever and then everyone begged the wachowski wachowski sisters who were actually originally the wachowski brothers it's kind of a strange unfolding of events that happened there 
um, everyone was begging them to make the another Matrix, and one of the sisters uh, decided to do it, and I didn't like it. I thought it was terrible, and I knew that could happen. I was like, okay, there's no way that they can top the Matrix trilogy. I knew that. I understood that. And I said, I'm going to go into the new Matrix with an open mind. And I watched it. And then I was like, I'm pretty sure the way I felt, I didn't just feel like it was bad. I felt like they were trying to murder it. I felt like, I felt like the Wachowski sisters were so mad at the fans wanting them to make another one that they became vindictive and said, Oh, you want another one? I'll give you another one. And then just made a shitty matrix. So, so that, that was my, like my, you know, one time where I get the disappointment was I just disappointed. I had too high of expectation. I tried to lower my expectations. I was still disappointed. Oh, fantastic fungus. Is that, is that the one? Okay, okay. Yeah, go watch it, because I'm going to go to bed too, but I'm going to look at my Netflix really quick to see if there's any other ones. I'm just going to see if I can log into it. All right, ready, ready! Oh, there's Netflix yelling at me. Uh, I just want to see if I can, in a meaningful amount of time, uh, search my history. Fantastic Fungi? That is the one. That is one that I have here. And then there's also another one called How to Change Your Mind. This one also has Stamets in it. How to Change Your Mind is a docu-series. You might put it on the to-do list if these kinds of shows uh, float your boat. But How to Change Your Mind, this one is actually good because the guy who did this I remember the guy who wrote this was actually really good. He talked about LSD. He talked about psilocybin, MDMA, and mescaline. And he like traveled the world. He was a very interesting dude. And uh, talked about microdosing, which is like a contemporary trend. We're going to see more of that, by the way. There is some research suggesting that uh, psilocybin and psychedelics at low doses can actually be beneficial to a lot of people and have a really positive uh, benefit for anxiety and depression and PTSD and stuff. And people are just taking like every day, like some people have microdose, you know, like medical marijuana or like other, you know, you should take some in the morning, go to work and they're fine and perfectly functional. But, you know, these are mind altering drugs essentially in very low doses but i did for some reason think that that was guy was cool that did the documentary i thought he was uh actually kind of on top of it um but that was called how to change your mind and then the but the fantastic fungi that's definitely the one to watch that one's like a hour hour and a half documentary and the other one is like a, a series Interbrain communications. Well, that's what they say. I, I'm I'm not so convinced that we understand exactly what's going on there with uh, the psychedelics. Um, but I think like the fMRIs and stuff suggest there was a little, a little, inter, interhemispheric, uh, something happening there. The, yeah, totally different. Interbrain, interbrain. <laughs> I, I'm open to it. I am. I really am. I, uh, I, I even, uh, you know, have told other people that um, uh, if you are, you know, uh, suffering from, you know, some of these things, and you think that, you know, uh, the quality of your life could be improved by some kind of medication, I would think that before taking SSRIs or some other uh, common pharmaceuticals, I would say check this one out at least because the things people report after like a single dose of LSD or after microdosing psilocybin stuff, these kind of outcomes that people are claiming 
are too dramatic to be ignored. Like there's, there's actually a very big impact that, and scientists, researchers, and psychiatrists have been saying for years since a long time ago, since psilocybin was first uh, researched, that they see the same thing and they believe the same thing that there is a subset of patients out there that are responding really well to this, uh, to this kind of treatment. So I, I believe it could be true. You know, I would like to see more, more research on it, but I would be open to it. I mean, there's, look at the mushroom people. They are a little weird. They are a bit weird, but they're not, they're, they're not like, there's not like there's holes in their brain from taking too much ecstasy, like, like the ecstasy, like the rave, uh, drug culture where, where, um, you know, people are suffering negative side effects, you know, overheating, uh, you know, some brain damage from uh, doing too much drugs and getting too hot and also mixing drugs and whatever weird things have happened to the, the rave drug culture. Uh, it's not that, you know, you don't see that kind of stuff happening and, and it's not, I don't think it's, it's making people turn into the uh, murderers or rapists or whatever the 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 old stories uh have suggested uh i think it's just some people on some very light mushrooms i don't really think it's doing anything bad you know autistic synapse are uh non-trim to age two I wonder if microdosing would enable dangly synapse to communicate faster with greater detail. Oh, like during like neur like a neuronal development uh, type, like a intervention. That's interesting. That would be very uh, interesting. And that's what I studied was uh, neuronal development in um, in uh, uh, you know some autism related. Uh, scenarios like Fragile X and Rett syndrome and stuff. That's what I did my PhD on. And so we looked at neuronal development and how neuronal development was affected by uh, certain genes. And so, uh, you know, having like a, a, like a chemical or pharmaceutical intervention, I know how to study that, actually. That's what I got really good at. Uh, was analyzing the synaptic uh, development and the neuronal development. So that would actually be a very uh, easy hypothesis, to be honest. All of the methods are available to conduct those uh, experiments. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're stopping me from watching the fungal documentary. Catch you soon. Good, good, good. Yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it trips you out. Probably just me. Might trip you out too. Who knows? You're going to want to eat some mushrooms after that uh, documentary. You're going to be like, where can I get my hands on some of these mushrooms? Start looking around for mushrooms or something. And uh, just a little note about that. There have also been some stories. They might address it in the documentary. I forget. But uh, there are some fungal enthusiasts that have mistakenly, even though they are professionals, and well trained to recognize the different uh, fungi, there have been some mishaps uh, where they have cooked and eaten the wrong ones and gotten very sick. You can actually die, even if you eat uh, sometimes even small amounts of the wrong fungus, which can easily look like a non poisonous edible fungus, and then uh, make yourself like uh, very, very sick. So uh, that scares me. I am not going to go picking and eating fungus anytime soon unless I know for sure uh, what kind of fungus I'm eating. So I think uh, uh, that was a good call. I think I'm going to head out too because I'm just kind of chilling. I'm not even playing the game anymore. Plus, I was hoping that some of these bonus uh, things would pop up and nothing really popped up. So I think no one's, I think it's kind of kind of uh, cooled down in WoW and it's not going to pick back up for another couple of hours. So I think now is a good time to log out. Uh, but I had a, a fun time streaming tonight. As always, it's so stimulating uh, getting to talk with you guys about all these different things. And I did get to do some mythics. So I got to flex a little bit of mythic heals. And uh, before 
uh, doing some of the higher keys, I did some lower keys with some guild mates. We leveled up a few keys and it was fun. We should actually do it again. I don't mind, you know, healing some of the lower keys because I like healing and it's good practice. And uh, I like to get everybody involved in that. What else happened uh, today? I think we had it. There's like a lot of people that followed, but not too many uh, subs. I do like to give a shout out. Maybe I'll play the shout out at the very end. I guess we could raid somebody too, but I don't know who to raid uh, with just a few viewers. I think what I'm going to do is just go to sleep. So uh, have a good weekend, you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Maybe I'll stream again this weekend. I'll try to. I always try uh, to stream as much as I can. And uh, what I really want to do is I want to... Oh, one thing I'll say before I leave is um, uh, we, there is going to be a talk show that we do. And I don't, we don't have the exact date for it, but I'm going to be inviting some guests and stuff uh, to talk on the talk show. Some of the guys will be people you recognize and some might be, might not. But uh, me and my uh, partner from Stream Voodoo, Marcelo, uh, really want to go live and talk about streaming and stream technology and then bring guests in that, to talk about whatever they want to talk about. Because he's met some really cool guys in audio and video, uh, YouTubers that have like, tech channels but they focus on microphones and audio this is something that have been that we would that would have been really good when i was editing and stuff and, whoa check this one out that that totally just blew up the alert herbert herbert hammer high uh just subscribed and simetheus is awake still so simetheus blew up that animation that is cool. Thank you. So let's have a toast then. Uh, I'm going to pour just a little bit in my glass so we can have a proper toast and then we can end. But uh, yeah, talk show coming with some YouTubers that focus on like video, streaming, audio and tech. It's going to be a lot of fun and we'll see how the content goes. Maybe great, maybe OK, but it may be super great. Who knows? But to uh, Herbert, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate that. Glad you got to hang out tonight. Cheers. And now that means I have to stream some more so that uh, that motivates me to stream some more. You usually just lurk, but here somehow I was into it. Well, right on. I do uh, appreciate that. So thank you for that. And, uh, and then the other last thing I wanted to say was I also want to do some drone, some outdoor drone streams now that the weather is getting nice. I've got to plan that out and go somewhere cool so we can do some aerial photography and stream it, of course. Because if I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to be doing it live. So with that, I will say thanks again and see you next time.